Korea.
All right, hello, 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 and welcome everyone to the second installment of the Miss Sleepy Captain's 10v10 event. I'm so happy to be here. It is your boy Toast, of course, and I am joined by none other than the American Kaggers connoisseur himself, Mr. Zombie Boo. Welcome. Yeah, thank you, Toast. Glad to be here. Uh, excited to see some uh, good Grand Blue today. Um, interested to see uh, what both the teams are going to bring out. Yeah, it's going to be very interesting. I mean, we have some absolutely heavy hitters here at the forefront of the teams. I mean, Swampen, you know, the legend himself, the hero of Sweden himself, uh, on the one end and Dragoy on the other. I mean, that is a, a clash of champions, one might say. <laughs> yeah, I think I've seen those two play a couple of times and uh, they're both yeah. quite, quite good at Grand Blue, if I do say so myself. Yeah, both also, you know, pulling up uh, to EVO last year, you know, and uh, both getting some pretty respectable placings, especially if you're going. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, be interested to see also how uh, some of the other players on the team fare. Um, there's a number of names here that I'm familiar with, uh, but yeah. also some that I'm a little less familiar with, you know, um, being yeah, newer definitely. players or folks on the, the up and up. Um, so definitely excited to, to see them show what they've got. Oh yeah, definitely. I am also, uh, <clears throat> I'm also very much looking forward to that. Uh, and the one thing that I'm really looking forward to in particular is the return of some Boomer Brothers here with, uh, tri -Keezer. I don't know if you're familiar with him. Oh, believe me, I am familiar with, uh, tri -Keezer. I do recall there was a, uh, NA versus EU exhibition back in the day. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh Diaphone hosting that one, yeah. <laughs> and uh Trikeezer actually did quite the number in that exhibition. Um, definitely. And th there were a couple salty Americans about the net code, which I mean I'm sure <laughs> I'm sure that's that's everywhere, right? But yeah. <laughs> I mean all I'm saying is, you know, if you're pulling up to an EU versus an A exhibition <laughs> and you're fucking delay based net code, you're pulling up to that. <laughs> that's that's what you're like, damn, Why is this connection? so strange. Wow, I could not have foreseen this. What is happening? <laughs> oh, yeah. But I am uh, definitely looking forward to seeing Trikeezer play again. It is really, really nice uh, to have him back. Uh, it's nice that he's been active again. This poor man, we had to rescue him, you know, bruised, bloodied, and beaten from the Guilty Gear Strive mines. Can you imagine? <laughs> I mean, I feel like most of the times when players leave to the the Strive Mines, they don't come back. So I'm very impressed that you all managed to, to pull them out of there. Yeah, definitely. It's really, it's really, really nice to have our man's back. But on the other end, you know, we have a bunch of we have a bunch of classics here. You know, we we have a bunch of people um, who have been, you know, kind of repping the EU scene for a very, very long time. You know, and kind of in the same vein, we even have Nstack returning, who was also a pretty active Matera player for quite some time, but uh, went on a bit of a hiatus. Uh, but, you know, seeing him back is also really, really nice. And on the uh, Dragoi team, there's actually a bit of a, what, what I'd say, a bit of a treat for you specifically, Zonimo, because we have Akira, who has been probably the most like dedicated grind lord in recent months for this game this man you know french uh calculator player uh has been putting in just absolutely insane amounts of hustle and he has been improving at just an absolutely alarming rate it has been crazy to watch his growth so i am really looking forward to seeing him play as well in this event you always love to see that and so as far as format goes, uh, we've got a 10v10 here, uh, two lives on each player. Uh, the players are tiered, as you see here on the screen, between crewmate, primal, eternal captain. And so you have to use up all of your crewmates' lives before you can send in a primal player. Uh, and that's sort of, uh, I guess, the, the gimmick of this event, um, since I saw some folks act asking in the chat about the format. I uh, thought I'd yep. clarify a bit. Yeah, thank you very much for the clarifications, and um, you know, it's actually quite interesting. Uh, there are two players in this event who I actually haven't seen yet, uh, Nerdell and Mountain. I know Mountain is, uh, has been around uh, in like the DNF scene, if I recall correctly, and um, Nerdell actually haven't ever seen them on any Grand Blue event, so that's going to be a complete wildcard. 
Yeah, I think it's always really interesting seeing new players come over to this game. Uh, it's sort of a, a notoriously easy game, right? Um, so, <laughs> quote unquote. Oh yeah, quote, quote unquote easy. <laughs> so you always see the the players coming over from other games. They always have the combos, of course. The the, pre the they might have some of the pressure from uh, stealing it from people in VODs. Uh, but it's always uh, I think the matchup experience catches people off guard sometimes. Oh yeah, uh, absolutely. So the the same player who maybe came over from DNF, if you see them against like a, a grand, they're gonna be you're gonna look at them and be like, oh yeah, that guy's really good. And then <laughs> uh, the second they have one of those weirder matchups, you know, like maybe the Zoe or the Vera, yeah, uh, the Bubbers you, you teleporting to, all over the screen, yeah, Bubs, Cag, <laughs> uh, Matera, you, you start to see the the cracks in the armor. So uh, yeah, definitely. It's, yeah. it's always interesting to see. It's also nice to see that we have, you know, quite a bit of character representation here. I mean, if we look at both teams, there's quite a good split. Uh, and, um, you know, we have all sorts of characters represented. I mean, we have, of course, Riori, the number one EU, uh, you know, Soros loyalist who has been um, just on the grind with this character ever since he came out. Never, you know, always kept the faith. This is someone who I very deeply respect because this man's he picked up Soros when he came out. Soros was absolute fucking dog shit. And now... He's actually, you know, he's grown alongside his character, which has been a really, really nice arc to see. You know, Riori has been getting a lot better as a player, while his character has also been, you know, facilitating that a bit more with all the buffs to uh, Soros, which is really, really nice. And that's always awesome to see, um, you know, Soros being a very underrepresented character in general. Um, and like many of the underrepresented characters in this game, I always think they're a little stronger than people perceive. Uh, not to necessarily say that they're definitely going to be strong, but um, I do think that they get a little less credit to the low tiers than uh, what they actually deserve, generally. Definitely, definitely. Uh, but yeah, of course, I am also very happy to see, you know, the, the Belial representation today. I mean, of course, I get to watch Dragoy play, hopefully, Belial, which is going to be, you know, the the highlight of the evening. Already. Uh, you're not, you you're not already ready know. for the Dragoy Lancelot? But... <laughs> I mean, the Dragoy Lancelot is also kind of cracked, but you know, you know, you, you know, I'm a, I'm, I'm a Belial simp, I gotta, I gotta be honest. So whenever I see the character pull up, I'm very happy. I saw a couple of Belials on the list. Uh, always a popular character. Uh, for good very reason. Cool, very <laughs> yeah, I, I, I quite enjoy playing a bit of uh, Belial myself, so I get it. Very basic. Love to hear it. <laughs> but I saw Sleepy uh, gave me a gift, and uh, you know, might might be a little biased towards Team Swamp in here having the the two cags on it. Fair enough, yeah, fair enough. Like Kira and TK Dog, so. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, TK Dog is another, you know, a, a real top dog, one might say, because um, he uh, performed incredibly well during the uh, EU Games Community League uh, during the finals. Like, he really put on a show, uh, which was really impressive to see. But yeah, uh, it was actually yeah, a chat pointing out. Wrong, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, 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 was, it was Team Dragoy. I was second guessing myself for a second or so. I was like, wait. Um... But, uh, you know, we'll just gloss over that very professionally. And we're just basically waiting on the okay from our players here. We already see Mountain Man with the Ladiva locked in and ready. Yeah, and it looks like the other team here is. Uh... Maybe still selecting someone to go first? Yeah. I mean, or they are spinning the wheel of option selects. I don't know if you saw that in the in the voice channel, but uh, it's very powerful. Right. Take a look at this here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take, a, take a peep at... Um, where is it? It's in... It's in GBVS uh, in the channel. You already... You got the, the whole wheel of excuses. <laughs> I win in DNF Duel is a pretty good one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> your life is as bad and it cuts off. <laughs> Always good to have your excuse early and uh, ready, just in case. Uh, yeah. You know, if you spend too long <laughs> thinking about it, everyone's going to know it's bullshit, so... Exactly, which is why, you know, th this is the main reason why I'm a commentator, is not because I like commentating so much, it's because whenever I do play, I can tell people, I'm just a commentator, I don't play this game. 
yeah, yeah. And then you get your your offline results, and and everyone goes, "Wow, you're pretty good." At yeah, this exactly. For a commentator, and you're like, oh, "Thank you." Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the plan has come together. All right, uh, we do see a little bit of a uh, of a dynamic tag out here. Um, we got Nerdel actually joining, and uh, yeah. That's going to be... Oh, the, the, the Pringles avatar is already looking uh, very threatening here. Oh, yeah. Not that's gonna a... lie. If, if, you, if you rock the, the Henri avatar and you don't play Henri, it's, uh, it's a little scary to see in the lobby. Oh, okay. Whew. It's only La Creatura. We don't, get to, we don't have to deal with, uh, <laughs> with the Pringle, man. There we go. And, uh, yeah, it's gonna be an interesting one to see. I feel like, you know, th since those are, since this is a uh, crewmate matchup, both, you know, judging by the amount of lobby games they've played, probably, you know, somewhat newer to the game. Um, I feel like in the, in those types of settings, uh, just Charlotta being really good at scrambling does pay off really well. Let's see if we're gonna see that in this matchup. Yeah, I mean, I agree that Charlotta is definitely, uh, quite good, um, at oh scrambling. God. But Ladiva is also quite scary in the scramble uh, with the seven frame sweep, uh, the huge priority, and just the threat of the uh, both the headbutts and the command grab uh, make yeah. it very scary. So seeing Mountain Man take a early lead here. Yeah, we are seeing some just absolute violence here getting things started. I mean, neither player really wanting to block at any point. And there we go, a first round for Mountain Man just finishing things off with the super. Did not want to hold anything here. Just goes in, kicks Shalara in the teeth, and it's going to be uh, just going for the boomer check immediately. 5U, but no connection, unfortunately. EX Ariat not quite connecting in time. Yeah, just uh, not quite picking up the combo there, but uh, immediately getting a wake up close medium to um, score some damage and take the early lead. And just going for all of the sweeps as well. Those are punishable. You have to keep that in mind with most spacings. Definitely something you don't want to be caught. Uh, not punishing, but right now, Mountain Man getting all of the offense started. No cancel with the super, unfortunately. And that should actually be a punish. There we go. SSBA from Shalala coming out. This was a huge chunk of damage. Yeah, it was Ow. looking pretty good for uh, Mountain Man here. But uh, unfortunately for them, uh, Charlotte is going to steal the round here. Doesn't the connection look cursed? That might be the stream. Like, on my spectator, it doesn't look that bad. I know it is for you, but for me, the connection like, looks fine on, spe on spectator. But, Lord knows. Wow, sweep under the DP. Um, very interesting interaction there. Definitely. And a nice... Oh, another just... Goes for a sweep while up close. A nice punish here from their Dell. But oh, Ladiva actually getting bonked out of the super animation here. And we are just swinging. There are no holes barred right now. We're just absolutely swinging. And the command grab connects, but unfortunately, no pickup. And Mountain unfortunately rolls into the second hit of the DP from half screen away. We'll get bonked to the dome. And Nerdell is going to be taking the first game here. Yeah, very important uh, first game coming out for Nerdell. Uh, just as you said, uh, managing to scramble their way uh, back in uh, Mountain Man with a, a huge lead there, but uh, Nerdell just scoring every hit towards the end of that round. Yeah, definitely. And that is going to be the first uh, dub going to Team Swamp in here with Mountain losing one of their lives. Let's see who we're going to be sending up next to beat the Shalada Menace. And it is going to be the legend himself, Mr. Womblius, Titanic Womble. Now this man is a legend. This guy is a multi-game representative, a multi-game menace. He does a lot of, uh, you know, he, he just does a lot of TOing for the EU scene. Not just for Granblue, he of course hosts Granblue, but he also hosts DNF Duel, he hosts Melty Blood type Lumina. This man is just, you know, a real boon to have around in the EU fighting game scene, so it's really nice to see him play in an event as well. Usually more of a TO than a player, but it's really nice to see him pull up. Oh yeah, I remember seeing uh, many of his events, uh, you know, because I, I host some of my events as Wombie Moose, so people joke about it being like a... <laughs> a very similar um, 
a sounding name. <laughs> Very uh, nice. You know, it's it's always good to see the, the folks who are normally behind the scenes uh, come out and show their stuff. Because, uh, you know, the, these people play the games too. Um, yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, of course, I gotta say, you know, from my, from my personal viewpoint here, you know, you gotta put some respect on the TOs, is all I'm saying. Sometimes they're <laughs> kind of cooking. The TOs, the commentators, I mean, you know, shout out to my boy Virum, who, uh, you know, always says he's just a commentator, but then he pulls up and gets, like, almost top 30 at EVO. My man was cooking up. Yeah, absolutely. You know, gotta put some respect on that name, you know, not, not just a commentator. Definitely. But yeah, uh, we're just pretty much waiting on the Wombler to sit down here. Looks like they're, you know, maybe, maybe giving him, you know, the coaches pulling him aside to, uh, to the boxing ring, telling him, you know, keep up your guard against Charlotta. Don't get hit in the face all, all the, the time. All the Charlotta <laughs> frame data, uh, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Stand block the DP, take your medium punish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That fucked me up so bad when I started playing this game and I first had to play against Charlotta. I was just, you know, obviously, I see a DP block and I'm just mashing my heavy. I'm like, wait a minute. Why isn't this working? <laughs> and you sit there and you're like, you know, oh, I hate online. And then yeah. you go into training mode, you're like, oh, this just doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Meanwhile, you know, install Vera players with their MDP are like, <laughs> if you don't know, you ain't getting no punish whatsoever. Remember the first week when she came out, I was just spamming that because no one had it in the muscle memory yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I See, mean, I was getting cooked by it as well. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't have the punish, I'm pressing it as many times as I can. 100%. Just walk up, do that shit. If they don't punish, doesn't matter. <laughs> but yeah, you know, definitely sending in a bit of a more advanced player here uh, with Titanic Womble. You know, he, he always likes, he always likes to us a bit. You know, it's like, ah, I'm so bad at this game. I always get washed, yada, yada, yada. You, you, you know how it goes. But I think he's really solid. And, uh, you know, he's starting things off with a bit of a punish here. Nice jump in as well. He's going to be able to get the heart knocked down with the EX Scarlet of little homie coming out as well. But unfortunately, no full punish. Just a bit of a light punish on the DP there, but, you know, still better than nothing. Definitely. Uh, Starting this round off with a rather large lead, so... Definitely. Unfortunate missed uh, DP there, but no punish there from Wombly as either. And my man just goes for the EX DP. Now Light no, in the voice chat just needs to yell at him to spam MDP instead of EX DP, and then he's gonna be cooking. <laughs> <laughs> you can't deny the merits of the Vera MDP, but... Uh, yeah, 100%. Pretty convincing round coming out from uh, Womble here, so... Yeah. See if uh, Nerdo adapts. Oh, beautiful extension. Doesn't quite have the spacing for the uh, full combo extension, but does have the 5U. The spirit of Light Yagami shining on him right now. And he's going to be able to get a big damage extension here as well if he doesn't drop it. Yup, that hurts. Goes for the hard knockdown. And the overhead setup will be able to close out the game. And a beautiful dominating performance from the Wombler here. Yeah, super convincing uh, game coming out from uh, Womble. So... Yeah. And see, uh, I imagine they'll probably switch uh, Nerdell out, but yeah, maybe they've likely. got something. Uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, to bridge the gap here while we're waiting for our next player to be selected, let me tell you a quick fun little story from the most recent offline that I attended. Um, so we, we, we had a really nice offline session at uh, Mad Gear FFM in uh, Frankfurt here in Germany, where we had quite a bit of the French crowd, but uh, especially all of the, you know, known German players like Saki, like Fidizen, uh pull up to the event, which was really cool. But we also had another friend of mine by the name of Dai, who pulled up as well. And now this man doesn't really play Granblue that much, but he is just one of those people who learns every fighting game, like, instantly. And he was just cooking up on Vera, and he, what he would do is just run up and do like, just run up five views and just loudly yell Light Yagami for the entire venue every time he either <laughs> RPS DP'd or did like a random five view. And the worst part is that it worked most of the time. <laughs> and you could hear it on the stream as well. Like when this guy was playing in the background, you, you would just do Light Yagami every time he did like EX Scarlet Oath into EX DP RPS. <laughs> 
hey, I mean, if you add to the mental stack with the, yeah. the audible yell, it's, it, it can really work out. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, right now we have... Uh, I'm pretty sure this has got to be the man's try to complete. Coming in, I'm pretty sure. Right. Or am I am I tripping? I need to look at the team roster again. These people are really making it hard on us commentators by going with random wacky names as well. Shout out to my man Wombler to actually, you know, keep his real name so we can identify him properly. <laughs> Make it easy on us. Oh yeah, Open Wolf, right? It's Open Wolf. I just read the, I just read Charlie Complete's name in chat and got mixed. <laughs> But yeah, heck, OD still uses OD anyway. If you, if you hate it, you know, you have to represent it. 100%. Again, a big lead coming out for Open Wolf here and then sealing out the round just now with the auto combo. Yeah, 100%. Um, really good use there, of course, of the plus frames. It's just able to uh, keep things going there. And that's another thing that's like a pretty big, you know, just level one kind of, you know, layer one reaction check here. Can you 2H the Zoe EX dive? Just yeah, give it a 5 well. uh, DP it wouldn't be too bad either. Just so, something other than holding it is, is what you're looking for. Yeah, 100%. And I mean, Vera also has the big benefit of, you know, when she just lands a random, you know, anti-air EX DP, that's like 30% meter. Yeah, absolutely. Gets her straight into install and forces the next hit to be tons of damage. And Wombo's corner pressure here looking great. Uh, goes yeah. for the overhead, gets mashed out. Yeah, looking really, really solid here. And it's just currently running it down. And uh, yeah, just needs one more hit. However, you know, uh, Open Wolf, someone who's actually really, really good at just getting those kind of just wanted confirms that he's looking for here in neutral. And oh, just punishes the dash up here. That was really a. Uh, very questionable roll from Wombo, but it doesn't matter because sweep into EX Scarlet Oath, the absolute classic, will keep the Wombler here alive. Yeah, I like the patience coming out from Open Wolf there, though. Uh, they almost managed to bring the entire round back from what looked like a, a devastating lead on uh, Wombo's side. 100%. And a beautiful interruption there in the EX Scarlet Oath as well. That's just something that I always really appreciate about Open Wolf's play. He's really good at just, you know, keeping you in a pressure situation. Goes for a bit of a reset here as well, and is currently working on a perfect. Blocks the DP, and that'll be taking out Wombler's first life here. Open Wolf showing up and laying down the law here immediately. Yeah, losing out with what uh, looked to me like a safe jab, which uh, very impressive stuff coming out from... Uh the crewmate here uh tier here today yeah definitely i mean uh open wolf definitely no slouch you know haven't really seen him around that much recently but um every time we've pulled up to the weeklies i've been uh pretty impressed with his performance of course you know wombler osing real quick downplaying a little bit i'm so awful just after taking like almost two perfects against the previous player <laughs> that's the the fighting game player classic though yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. When I win, I'm not like when I lose, I'm trash. <laughs> yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. It's like that, um, you know. It's, it's like it's like that classic fucking green text with the uh, <laughs> win game, feel nothing, lose game, day ruin. <laughs> <laughs> the fighting game player life. <laughs> but yeah. Now we actually have a one of the Belial representatives coming in. We have Cinder here pulling up for Team Dragoy. And of course, as I said before, I'm incredibly biased. I'm gonna be uh <laughs> I'm gonna be rooting for the Belial brothers and sisters here. Completely fair. Uh but you know, Open Wolf showed some impressive stuff, so it's gonna be a, a tough game for Cinder to get back into this. Yeah, definitely. Though, uh, I do think that um, Cinder does definitely have the fundamentals needed to uh, put on a good show here. You know, she's been um, recently returning as well, uh, been recently showing up to the weeklies again. And uh, it's been impressive just watching her have like a really, just really solid understanding of uh, Belial's game plan and just, you know, good basic pressure, gets the extensions as well. So this is going to be a good one. I think the intros rock as well, of course, you know, we paid for an anime game, we're getting our anime. Yeah, I'll be curious to see if uh, Cinder has the anti-airs uh, locked down. Um, we saw 
uh, Open Wolf getting away with a few 63Hs, and uh, yeah. just curious to see if it's going to be different here. Yeah. What I'm also enjoying here from Open Wolf, that's how you know it's really serious, he switched to the esports color. He was rocking the yellow before. Straight from the, the community league here. Yeah, 100%. And, uh, you know, nice command tip there from Cinder, definitely felt that one coming, you know, that's a, that's a thing. All Belial players share, like, the one command grab brain cell. That uh, we always know when the next person is going to go for a command grab, we can always feel a bit of a disturbance in the force. And there's definitely going to be, like, jumping into command grab coming here. Not even jumping, okay. Wow. Yeah, you do get a safe jump after that. That's definitely something to um, keep in mind for Cinder. Cinder just looking for that one more hit here, uh, trying to close out the round. Uh, no anti-air, but honestly, I kind of like taking ah! <laughs> the first blow. Yeah. Yeah, big command grab to close it out. I always love the Belial command grab, you know. By all intents and purposes, you know, if you look at the frame data on that move, it shouldn't be good, and no one should get hit by it, but it just is, you know. Like, it's just that extra mental stack tool that uh, you already have to worry about so much with Belial with his pressure, right? And then that just, just the wonky command grab where this man just starts posting up, just walking at you. Sometimes you just don't react to it. I completely feel it. Yeah, it's, uh, there's just so much stuff to be worried about that you don't have time to think about the command grab, but Open will yeah. strike you right back. Uh, very fast round, scoring the overhead and just closing out with the super. Yeah, definitely. I mean, just impressive stuff here from Open Wolf. Just running really, really good, solid uh, Zoe offense. But Cinder, you know, uh, gonna be trying to fight back here and another good anti air. Open Wolf, you know, now that for the second time has used the EX dive to anti air, which is also quite good. Gives you that hard knockdown, of course, which Zoe really, really wants. I like the delay on the 2M there. Uh, taking their turn back and just uh, scoring a counter hit. Taking. Very unfortunate. Mistimed the meaty there. Got a little, got a little bit early. It's bonked on her head as well. Now just we're just back to the corner and Open Wolf just playing super patient, just sticking out those medium buttons. Bit of a wish confirm into the rush, but doesn't really matter. Should be able to get a punish here on the overdrive. Yep, that is going to be a nice hard knockdown. Won't have to worry about chip, but the throw will absolutely do it. And Cinder does get taken out here, losing one of her lives. And Open Wolf, the first player here to take two in a row. Open Wolf staying on the setup, uh, being uh, ready to hold it down for uh, their team here. Um, oh, and we're going for a rematch. And C Cinder wanted to stay on. Um, I respect it, I respect it. Probably told, told her captain, hey, I've got this. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I got I've got this. Yeah. Give me another chance. 100%. Brings me that back to uh, the good old days of um, competing in a Hearts Are Blazing team tournament with Dragoy, where we uh, where we signed up as the Super Belial Bros, which was great. <laughs> yeah. Now we're getting another little bit of pressure in the corner here, and once again, Jacinda really struggling to get her way out of the corner. Yeah, I mean, Zoe's pressure is pretty oppressive. Uh... The M Dragon, of course, being sort of a, a loopable plus frame option. Of course, it costs a resource, but uh, it's still very Quote, scary. Unquote, to... a resource. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, you know, Open Wolf's got plenty of Dragon Meter to spare still. Uh, and cinder has got quite the life lead to catch up on. But hey, uh, Odi Belial is definitely a character that uh, can make this oh, yeah. back, but not, not today. <laughs> yep. Oh, unfortunate Corona handshake there, but no punish from other player. No anti-air again, but Cinder just poking on the plus frames, doesn't care. The only minus if you're a bitch, and that will be almost an extension, unfortunately misses. That's, that's a really tight micro dash extension, yeah, that's a bit funky to get. Yeah, it's, it's so rare to get those hits where, with Blau, where Far Heavy's not going to reach after the 4 Yeah, definitely. I'm really liking the slide minus frames into OD activation here, that's very cute. <laughs> oh! Gets grabbed out of the command grab, that's another thing that's a bit unfortunate about Belial's command grab, you can't get uh, grabbed out of it before he actually starts grabbing you. JU coming out, unfortunately we are no longer in a patch where that's the threat. <laughs> I can't subscribe to the, the J useless propaganda. <laughs> I have to do it, no, no one else will, you know, I, I have to hold it down for the JU downplay. 
I get it, I get it. You'll see me downplaying when CAG comes out. Yeah, 100%. The rising CAG downplay gonna be good. <laughs> Super tight round uh, down to the wire, and the uh, counter hit 2M to close it out on Cinder side. Definitely, and really nice pressure here from Cinder, but a beautiful whiff punish here from Open Wolf. Gonna put Cinder in the corner again, and this is where we've seen things go really, really awry for Cinder. But finds the, uh, just finds the Farayavi this time. Really nice. Oh, Maladi gets blocked. Keeping good composure here. They are supposed to champ coming out. 5U Sanguine mentioned, but no punish here from either side. 5 u the Dragon is a, uh... Precarious <laughs> operation can definitely turn on you very, very poorly. Yeah, it's always got a lot of options to beat it, but yeah. again, it, it is a bit of a, a knowledge check, I think. Um, if you're not prepared for the Belial 5U, uh, punishing can be quite challenging. Yeah, definitely. And oh, another whiff punish, and just Cinder so close to chip now has to make something happen. It's gonna connect very, very barely with the with the overdrive activation. And this is going to be a really tough one to come back, but yeah, tries to go for a throw and Open Wolf once again staying alive. Taking a third game in a row and actually knocking Cinder out of, out of the event here. Taking both of her lives, but a really, really valiant attempt from Cinder here. We saw some adjustments and uh, the only thing that was really killing her here was mainly just missing a lot of uh, anti-airs as well on those EX dives. Allowing Open Wolf to really get in there for free. It's, it's quite the challenge to... Uh really look for that 63H from Zoe and actually like, get that the anti-air and get the big punish. Um, so... Yeah, absolutely. Uh, now we got the number one God Flash fan joining the room. Who could that be, though? <laughs> I suppose we will see in a second. One, uh, and it is going to be Mountain. I feel like Mountain has uh, changed their name. Uh, <laughs> yeah, since, I mean, you know, God Flash. I mean, I guess that's yeah. why you've got two lives, right? You can represent two names on stream. On stream. Definitely. And I mean, you know, it's a, it, it's a, it's a pretty good life being a God Flash fan, you know? God Flash, definitely another pillar of the EU community as well. It's just really nice to see all of these people who... Um, have just been repping this game for so long coming out for these events and uh, just the amount of interest in them as well. I mean, originally we were only going to have the Swampen versus Dragoi team event, but there was so much demand that, you know, Sleepy put in the effort and um, already hosted an event yesterday. So you people in the chat better be grateful for the work she puts in, because that's how you're getting your good Gramblu entertainment. Zoe against Mountain on the Lediva. Uh, yeah, I'd say this is uh, generally a bit of a Zoe favorite matchup uh, with uh, her being kind of a bit of a zoner um, yeah. here, but again, anything is possible, but Open Wolf has been showing some uh, oh. very impressive play. Uh, yeah, Mountain actually surviving the boomer check there. I would have 100% gotten hit. I'm not pressing the block button. I can promise you that much. No Ooh, punish, unfortunately, nice on the control. Yeah. Oh, beautiful conversion. Doesn't quite get the end here, so won't be able to finish the round, but Open Wolf still... Oh! Almost gets, uh... Almost gets put in a very bad situation there, but unfortunately, no full pickup there from Mountain. And Open Wolf just one round away from, uh, you know, just once again defending the King of the Hill here. Nice extension. Nice oh, and another yeah. beautiful crouch on Lariat, you know, Open Wolf definitely knows that gimmick, knows that he has to crouch those, and he's been ready to punish every time. Yeah, it's been great patience from Open Wolf, just wait, waiting out the, the lead options, and uh, scoring the win for uh, their team here. Really, really nice stuff, and Open Wolf, you know, still cooking here. Doing really well. That okay, so I'm gonna kick in 
for a second. Yep. Um, Try Kieser isn't available, but we have news of a replacement, and I'm gonna show it on the graphic right now. All right, let's ah. see. Let's take a look. There it is. So sadly, oh. no Try Kieser, but. Oh, oh. We've got the double, the double Vasaragas coming out for Team Zonfin. Oh the, no! Zway is stepping into the ring. <laughs> Now this is gonna be a good one. Of course, I'm sad not to see the boy Drip Keezer pulling up this time, but Gatekeeper Zwei is more than a worthy replace uh, replacement. Now this man, we got both the Vasaraga brothers on one team now, so this is going to be menacing. If anyone doesn't know the uh, if anyone doesn't know the Vasaraga matchup on Team Drigoi, this is gonna be a rough one because <laughs> Gatekeeper Zwei is a master of this character. I got to play against him offline recently. It was a just fantastic experience. I got exploded by so many combos I didn't know were in the game or even possible. Who's, so, who's gonna let Strider know he's gotta play uh, Vasaraga now? <laughs> to, to finish out the the triple Voss <laughs> team here. <laughs> I wouldn't even be surprised because Strider plays the entire roster. <laughs> Like, Strider actually plays the entire roster. Like, we've seen him enter, like, on Lunaloo. We've seen him pull up to the weeklies just randomly, like, picking the Wayne and shit. This man just plays everything. Yeah, so, I believe we saw this matchup a bit earlier between Wombo and Open Wolf. Uh, obviously, we know Open Wolf, who is uh, sort of running the setup right now. Um, but. I think the matches were pretty close and uh, Womble taking an early lead here. Definitely. Womble just putting on the pressure right now and is able to get a nice little bit of pressure going here in the corner. No anti-air coming out from Open Wolf either. So this is just a really just completely different situation to what we saw before here. But the beautiful defense here from Open Wolf does not get opened up by anything. Ooh, punishable 2 3 6 H there, but uh, not quite getting it. Uh, very difficult move to punish, has a lot less blocks done than you'd expect. And uh, Womble's gonna take it uh, the first round here. Yeah, and Womble was, is just cooking up. I mean, he's back with a vengeance. Maybe he tagged in his older brother or something because this is looking completely different to what we had before. However, this is how it starts. The boomer check it does succeed once again. So far, people have been, uh, you know, pressing the block button as they should. And like Yagami mentioned, because the 5U will be landing here for the Wombler. And this is going to be a nice big extension here as well. Yeah, and in the combo early, it was scaled. I don't mind the, the choice there. Uh, saving the 2 on 4. Uh, Scarlet Oath on deck. Uh, this combo might kill. kill. It absolutely should. Has the meter. And there we go. Hashtag Womble Sweep, baby. Yeah, a complete reversal of what we saw last time. Uh, Wombo was was playing it to open wolf. Um... Yeah, 100%. I mean, Wombo absolutely cooking up here. Open Wolf losing their first left. Let's see if Open Wolf is going to stick it, uh, going to stick to the C tier and uh, go for the rematch, or if they're going to be sending in Sunko or Nerdell. Yeah, they've got Sunko and Nerdell on deck. I mean, I, Open Wolf had a, a good run, so I mean, I imagine uh, maybe you want to leave him on. He's feeling a little bit hot. But also, at the same nope. time, you want to preserve that. Uh... Yeah, definitely. And uh, now, this is going to most likely be Sunko joining in. Yep, it is. And, uh, you know, in another lifetime, uh, a little while ago, we may have had the Vera Mirror here. Uh, Sunko is someone who has gone through quite a few characters by now. Of course, all of them, uh, all of them waifus. He's that type of guy. <laughs> <laughs> but, it's like he's um, rock, rocking the uh the anila uh fan tag here in preparation for rising so of course of course you know gotta enjoy the flavor of the month <laughs> now that she's been announced all the rat bros in absolute shambles you know <laughs> just completely obliterated <laughs> if you ask me i think uh i think we'll get vicky too personally yeah, honestly, same. Like, they've already shown that they are willing to put in two of, like, a faction of characters like they did with the Eternals, you know? Um, so, I wouldn't be surprised if Vicky also gets in. Junko starting this out with a very good neutral jump to call out the uh, M Scarlet Oath. Oh, God! Woo! That almost turned real sour for the Wombler here because that Jita close heavy, for some reason, is, like, the best anti air in this game. 
it's it's so good. And uh it really is so good. Mambo gonna have to score a couple hits here to get back into it, but just gets DP'd out of the corner. Oh nice block, and this should be oh go for a rush extension. I mean we take those, we're gonna be able to finish things off anyway. Nice stuff here from Sunto. Actually getting his first point on the board already. Just Saki with the shoutouts to Mick, that's so fucking uncalled for Saki, goddamn. <laughs> He's already suffering, why must you do this to him? <laughs> for context, Mick, a, uh, another German Grand Blue player, also a fellow Kag Liostro, by the way. Uh, nowadays, a bit of a Jita player, but uh, has played a lot of Kag. He was so hyped for Vicky, and he was so disappointed when she didn't pull out. <laughs> the poor man was absolutely in shambles. That's unlucky. Yeah. Another DP coming out. Yeah. Uh, not wanting to hold any of this pressure coming out for Wombles uh, is Cinco. And uh, yeah. it's the OD. Uh, lots of reversal options. Um, wanting to keep their turn. And uh, this is a one touch game at this point. You know, the <laughs> yep. pretty, pretty big lead here, but it's not going to matter in the face of this OD damage. Yeah. 100%. And that's something that. Um... I feel like, you know, if Womble, uh, if Womble gets to play a longer game, if he can really exploit. Sunko's main weakness is uh, that he tends to be a little bit impatient, a little bit panicky sometimes on defense, and he tends to just kind of throw out things like DPs a lot of the time. So if Womble can exploit that, that's definitely, I think, going to be his avenue to victory. But right now, yeah, just nice EXDP through the gap. But just an EXDP right back, and look at that. Look at how much meter Womble has already built up of that. Wombles at full here. Uh, we could be looking for, for OD, we could be looking for an install. Um, but, uh, looking at Gita combo instead. Let's see this if should be enough to kill, see how the, the inputs work out. Yep. Yep, and that'll absolutely do it. Nice performance here from Sunko, you know? Sunko, another uh, habitual down player. Nice to see him do well. Yeah, uh, coming on. Uh, scoring the win straight away. And I think that's going to yep. move us up to uh, the primals on uh, Dragoy's yep. team. So, Yeah, Team Dragoy currently getting beat up a little bit. You know, only two lives down on Team Swampen, while all of the crewmates have been knocked out on Team Dragoy. But let's see who we're going to send in next. Um, hmm, I'm feeling Akira, honestly. I feel like Akira's going to pull up. <laughs> I mean, Cagliostor, obviously, a great choice. Um... In of any course. situation, um, <laughs> <laughs> just a little biased, but um, I wonder why you'd say that. <laughs> you know, this, this is, uh, of course, Dragoy's show to run here. Um, let's see what he has in mind. Definitely. Let's see what we're gonna get here. And uh, yeah, team's just kind of deliberating currently. We still got Heck OD in the room, you know, Open Wolf already ready to jump back in in case that Sunko should falter here. Just, yeah, I mean, just excited to play. Definitely. You know, next time someone drops out, tag me in. <laughs> only when I, only if I can be on Team Dragoy, though. We wreck in the belly as well. <laughs> <laughs> Hopping in, you know, the secret final boss. <laughs> We've done that before, like, on the weeklies, actually. <laughs> Where people didn't show up, we just let the commentators just come in, you know, out of nowhere with the folding chair, beat someone over the head. There is the the one week I think uh I wanna say it was Mr. Pow's opponent didn't show up and yeah. we were in like a, a Mr. Pow Kumite with <laughs> like, Yeah, exactly. We had the handful of us from North America playing him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mr. Viver, kill him. Exactly. Um We had yeah, we had the rat kumite because uh, like Jundo slept through the weeklies or some shit. Because <laughs> <laughs> and we had the full rat kumite, we had like but yeah, I know you pulled up. I know, uh, I think Wavy was there. We just had a bunch of people just playing first to one against the Rat King. That was really fun. But yeah, looking like we got uh, Tatsu actually uh, coming out of Team Dragoy here. And I think uh, it makes a lot of sense to me. Uh, you got a lot of crewmate lives to go through. And, uh, you know, it's it's hypothetically like on paper the the you'd expect the primals to beat the crewmates every time, but yeah, uh, that's not always how it works out. You know, uh, Open Wolf and uh, Sunko here taking some names. Um, so I I, I kind of like the pick. Uh, Grant being a pretty stable character, right? Uh, has the DP if he needs it, 
and uh, just gonna play it nice and slow. Yeah, one hundred percent, and is able to space out the boot there to be plus actually, and just will find the first little hit here. Of course, Granthony Fantano once that shotgun is loaded. It is going to absolutely explode, Sunko. And Tatsu is someone who absolutely loves going for 5U shenanigans with this character. I mean, you can already see it here in this gameplay. I mean, if you're if you're playing Grand, why wouldn't you? It's yeah. it's such a good move. So much range. Uh, pretty fast. Huge reward. And uh, yeah. there's a DP punish. Uh, yeah. I like that the airborne punish there to reach the corner. <laughs> Either, yeah, definitely. Uh, that's, that was a really nice option there. And yeah, Saki, this is Tatsu pulling up. Put out a 5U here. And no anti air from Sunko. Of course, anti airing Grand, not the easiest thing. That JU is active for about a thousand years. Really high priority. Can actually smoke your anti air sometimes. So, nice knockdown though. That's kind of the, you know, the Jida classic, just going for the run up to you. Yeah, I like the the patient play coming out from Sunko. You mentioned them being uh, potentially an impatient player, uh, but at neutral here, uh, they're playing quite patiently. Uh, yeah, there's the DP though. <laughs> there, there's the DP, as, as you mentioned. <laughs> so we're going to see a bunch of damage coming out. Ow. Next hit is definitely going to kill. Oh, the uh, dodge on the OD. Beautiful. And the punish as well. Tatsu. And we've got our, our first OD bay of the night. I mean, we saw one other OD whiffed, uh, but this is uh, the maybe the first reaction or read dodge. Um, taking the punish and, uh, you know, showing, showing what he's got. Yeah, 100%. Gotta just, you know, gotta gotta very quickly do this for all the Tatsu fans in the chat. See? <laughs> <laughs> Tatsu, of course, you know, Portuguese. Apparently, to, or so I have been told by Tatsu. Trained at the same club that uh, Ronaldo trained at for like a year, <laughs> so we are contractually uh, obligated to uh, to see every time he takes a game. <laughs> yeah, so we've got uh, Nerdell stepping back up. Um, the, they were the first to step on, and now they're they're yep. coming back. Definitely, the Pringles menace is active. And, uh, yeah, we're going to be seeing the Shalada here once again from them. And, uh, yeah, from what we saw before, uh, could definitely uh, be a bit of a, a bit of a tough matchup here. Just because Tatsu, no, is a very, very seasoned player. Uh, definitely used to playing the neutral. Also switched the color up again. I actually like the grand color. It's quite nice. Yeah, it's a pretty solid color. Grand has a few, so a couple solid colors, but, uh... You know, yeah. from the last round, we saw Tatsu willing to play it slow, um, not wanting to uh, overcommit to any scrambles. Um, yeah. So Nerdell's going to have to work for uh, all the damage they get, and uh, so far going pretty good. Yeah, actually going really, really good so far. Uh, Tatsu is not really prepared to deal with the Kreatura from what we can see here. And oh, that's a very unfortunate miss input. This is a uh, and very challenging confirmed. punishment grand, though. Yeah. Uh, once you block the, the ball there... Uh, he has a really hard time reaching, so... Yeah, this is going to hurt, though. Let's see if he's going to go for an OD setup. No, just goes for an attempted Malady. But the DP from Nerdell actually coming through here. Oh, just presses after the sweep. Minus frames aren't real. And this is going to be a boot extension to the corner. And Tatsu does manage to claw his way back from the jaws of the feature, taking the first round. It was a, a very close first round. Uh, so yeah. we'll have to see uh, which adaptations come out from the players. But this round looking a little different. Uh, Tatsu being the first to corner Nerdell here. Uh, taking the sweep knockdown. Gets a couple counter hits. Oh, a huge EX boot. Yeah, did not have any real cooldowns to convert with though, unfortunately. But there we go. Now we got the boot. We got all cooldowns and we got meter. That is just going to be a wrap here. And Nerdell is going to be taking out, losing their second life. Tatsu holding it down here. Going to be all up to open wolf for Sunko now. But of course, we saw both those players uh, had a bit of a hot streak earlier. Um, so realistically, I could see either of them potentially taking a life off Tatsu here. Yeah, definitely. They were doing really, really well. Yes, of course, chat. I'm going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Chat's gonna be mad at me if I don't. <laughs> it's a weekly tradition. I have to respect the, the European culture here. Definitely. Yeah, keep it the sweet. Let's see what we're gonna get now. Let's see if Open Wolf and Sunko are gonna be pulling up. I mean, Sunko, you know, sat firmly at the wrong cab here, but uh, we do have Heck OD re entering the room as well. So let's take a look which one they're gonna send in first. Yeah, I mean, I, I really like the, the Sunko slow game plan against uh, the Tatsu Gran. Uh, unfortunately, we saw a couple DP baits. Um, yeah, I mean, realistic, exactly. Realistically, Gran only needs one DP bait. Uh, near the corner. Definitely. It's just, it's just so much, so much damage. Uh, it's so hard to come back from if you eat that close heavy starter. Yeah. A little while ago, I actually got uh, counter hit by OD Gran and my game uninstalled itself. Zoe. Surprised uh, you still have difficult. Windows on your computer at that point. <laughs> System 32 absolutely perched from your computer. <laughs> Stay hydrated. All right, Saki, just for you. I'll have a drink. There we go. Hydrated up. Here we've got an uh, open wolf coming out. Um, so not yep. the uh, you know Sunko gaming that uh, we thought it might be, but uh, early lead. Yeah, Sunko will out, be the last bastion here. <laughs> early lead going out to Tatsu. Uh, just trying to to keep uh, open wolf locked down here in the corner and doing a great job of it. Miss the punish, but I like the safe option there. You know, if you go a five LEX boot, uh, you're unpunishable, and then or you're you're actually punishable on block. So going for the far out rush, very safe punish selection. Definitely. Yeah, again, just Tatsu are just looking really, really solid. You know, with those like the grand players, I'm telling you, they just have this unnatural like sixth sense of when they can just EX boot, and it always kills you every single time. You're always doing something. It's like, oh, they haven't e exploited in a really long time. I guess I'll walk forward a little bit. Ah, there's the boot. Every fucking time. <laughs> yeah, you can spend a solid 30 seconds, 40 seconds, 50 seconds just waiting for it. Just waiting. And then the one second, you're like, okay, I'll think about something else. Instantly yeah. it comes out. 100%. Sonic's fan, the master of that as well. Lord Cocodrilo. Getting the shotgun charged. Oh, tries to let it rip a little bit too early. And I already know. I really feel like Tatsu wants to land a shotgun for the stream here. Who, hey, look who, at wouldn't, who wouldn't want to take away the, you know, 90% health? Uh-oh. Yeah, uh -oh. eerie situation for <laughs> Open Wolf here. Uh, have to be so worried about the 5 of you. However, it doesn't have to worry about this corner carry here because with the H Dragon shooting at you, you can't really get out of him just pushing you to the corner. There's the 5 you actually unloaded, but we'll get punished here even. And Open Wolf going for a punish. How's the maybe getting a little bit lost in the 5 you saw here? One of the That's downsides of charging the 5 you is it does move closer, so you actually end up in that situation where they can get the close light punish much more easily. Uh, yeah. And, uh,. Overall, showing some good matchup knowledge, actually taking the punish. Uh, it's it's such like a rare situation that you don't see it very often, and uh, a lot of players miss that. So, yeah, very cool. Stuff. Ooh, Look for another boot here. That's gonna be God. Oh jeez. Those cooldowns are back. Open Wolf's gonna have to be really careful here. No punish on the roll. L Dragon, of course, holding down the neutral as per usual. Yeah, Open Wolf playing really patient, but, uh, or not Open Wolf, uh, Hatsu playing really patient, but Open Wolf's taking, like, pretty good advantage of that to, to get the screen back and get out of the corner. Yeah, 100% here. Open Wolf's definitely someone who, uh, who, could, who I would see, you know, qualifying as a primal as well. Yeah, nice uh, MDP here as well. Uh, LDP here from uh, from Tatsu coming out. Be able to throw all of these fireballs and pressure, but however, you know, if no one got me, I know L Dragon got me, but EX Boot does so as well. It's gonna be able to close things out here. And it all comes down to Sunko Gaming here for the crewmates on Team Swampen. Yeah, those were, uh, in my opinion, some pretty scared fireballs coming out from Tatsu. I would have like to see uh, Open Wolf represent the SSBA option as a, a counterplay there. Um, 
but uh, worked out worked out okay for him. Uh, and as you mentioned, just just Sunko remaining for the Swamp and crewmates. Yeah. But yeah, Sunko, you know, did pretty well last time. Let's see if he'll adjust. Uh, maybe lay off the you know just lay off the gas a tiny little bit on the uh, defensive DP since Tatsu was really calling them out quite heavily in the last game. I think we saw two or three DP baits in just the the two rounds we saw between these players. And, uh, yeah. But I mean, even even if uh, Sinko is unable to adapt here, uh, if he gets on the offense first, um, it's very possible that you can take a round or two without uh, being put in that situation where you want to DP defensively. Definitely. Oh, nice interruption on the EX boot and a beautiful little hit confirm from Sunko. Doesn't quite get have the spacing to get the final hit, but still, that is just absolutely insane corner carry. Of course, you know, the Jita Classic, but uh-oh, that is the Season 1 gaming. You already know, whenever there's a Gran or a Catalina in the corner, they will JU out. It just happens. Again. <laughs> yeah, this is this is so huge. Um, if you can't deal with that, uh, the fact that uh, it corners you, even if you block it, like if you don't get hit by it, it's, it's so big against these characters like Gran and Catalina, who rely on the corner yeah. so much for damage. And once again, just the JU finds its mark. Katsu opting to save the cooldowns here, but already charging up the next 5U. Now, the next hit is going to hurt very, very horribly, but once again, as I mentioned before, you know, those JUs, they can kind of beat your uh, anti air sometimes. And we saw it right there. Yeah, especially when they get over and get that cross up uh, angle. Yeah. It becomes very difficult to deal with. But nice reversal rush here to uh, keep, keep, keep in the center screen. Um, Center screen, of course, meaning uh, Jita has you in the corner. Uh, yup, definitely. The <laughs> there is no mid screen if you're playing Jita. Oh, very nice sweep. Oh, does not quite range, yeah. push themselves out of the OD range. Uh, oh god, that was wow. very Oh my god. Uh, very, very, very good presence of mind to pick up on that air hit JU. And then not only that, but not to finish the auto combo and, and hit Jita too high to follow up. Yeah, definitely great awareness from Tatsu here. And with that, all of the crewmates, all of the sussy imposters on Team Swampen has been knocked out. And we'll be moving on to the primal tier with Tuho Juho, Enstek, and Gekiko. Yeah, I mean, the, the score might be even, but uh, depending on how you look at it, uh, either Tatsu is being worn down a bit or may maybe he's on a hot streak. Um, Tatsu is cooking right now, for sure. <laughs> yeah, Trikeezer got replaced by Zwei. Keezer died, unfortunately. He is uh, he was diagnosed with being French, and um, unfortunately, you know, he didn't make it. So we do have Gatekeeper Zwei, uh, thankfully, to hold down the fort for him. And I can't think of a more worthy replacement, you know? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, honestly, you just love to see Vassaraga in general. Um, <laughs> maybe maybe you don't love to play against him, but you do love to see him. Uh, that's that's uh, definitely how definitely. I feel. <laughs> yeah, de definitely. I mean, I I wholeheartedly uh, wholeheartedly agree. Hey, I've as had long as I'm times. not the one sitting at the yeah. cap, I love to see Vasaraga. <laughs> yeah, one hundred percent. But like, especially when I play against Swipe, all of the shit he does is so fucking cool that I can't even be mad that I just exploded for eighty percent of my health off of a non counter hit. And I can't even be mad. Like, this man pulls out, like, the the wackiest conversions known to mankind, just out of his, uh, out of his magical hat every single time, and you can't even be mad at it. You know, you're like, yep, I just lost, but it was cool, at least. <laughs> yeah, Vastraga being, uh... I, I feel like he's one of those characters that is not common, um... But like not rare either. So it's it's when you see like the the really strong ones play, you always get to to see something new. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's, that's always meantime, great. Yeah. In the meantime, we have uh, Gekiko pulling up, uh, and of course, Livy. You know, uh, her, her actual wife in the chat uh, as well. Immediately, I am here to flame her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, Livy is a real hater. I can uh, I can appreciate it. Now, one thing that, um, you know, do, do as I say, not as I do. If I see a uh, an M grab here from uh, from Gekiko, I'm going to fucking lose it. <laughs> what if it works? As you gotta ask yourself that every time you play Blile. I mean, you think yeah, about yeah, M grab, but what if it works? 
Don't don't ask uh, Gatekeeper Fly about uh, M Command Grab. Worst mistake of my life. <laughs> Huge uh, damage combo coming out here on uh, oh, yeah, the side of Tatsu. Missed the dash for the, the grab there. Oh, and very unfortunate. That was probably not supposed to be a backshift here, and Gekiko just getting exploded by the Grand Sony anti air. Yeah, very, very good uh, usage of the 2H, 2 and 4M to cover on the non counter hit. And look at all these fucking enablers in the chat as well. Do a 5 view on round start. <laughs> all of these menaces in the chat just wanting to see Gekiko fail here. Oh no, the Maladi. That's going to be it here. Oh, doesn't quite go for the extension, but it doesn't matter. There are no drops, just happy little resets. And Tatsu, once again, just on fire, just cooking up. Yeah, Grant, Grant's such a difficult character to deal with in these these first ones too. Um, yeah, you know you really want to adapt, but uh, you get hit by these these far H's or these counter hit five U's, and suddenly suddenly you lose a whole round. That's that's, yeah. and you just have so much less time to work with uh, to adapt and adjust. Yeah, definitely. And just immediately from Livy sending her to the couch tonight. That's fucking rough. It's over, <laughs> Gekiko Bros. We lost. It's so over. No, 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 no. <laughs> they, they've got another chance. Yeah. You know, this, this is a two life uh, exhibition. Uh, definitely. But it looks like we are having the salty run back here. Gekiko saying, I'm not done yet. You know, wanting to prove to Livy. That uh, <laughs> she ain't getting cooked like this. She has the malady, unfortunate. This is gonna be this is gonna be the salty run back. We didn't really get to see her do too much last game, so let's see if she can adjust and um, you know manage to uh, finally stop the momentum of Tassi. Compared to usual, usual first to two lobby too, um, the break is kind of forced, right? Because it goes back to the lobby, so. Uh, you really get a chance to think about um, how your match went and think about what you want to do differently in the the, the coming game. So uh, always good to see someone think about their match and not just mash the rematch. But seeing a couple of really good anthers coming out from Tatsu, uh, already putting himself in a great position here. Yeah, that's ready for those nice bait on the DP here from Gekiko. It's gonna be able to get the hard knockdown off of the EX Amogius. No anti-air coming out on the MDP, the Deviant's classic as well. And gets the pro gaming going in the corner. But once again, you know, as we said before, you gotta be ready for those grand JU jump outs. Oh no! Cancel into super. Very unfortunate drop from Gekiko. That could have been it, and now she's getting Huge counter hit to him. Yep. That's it, yeah. Yep, that is absolutely it. You gotta be feeling very bad about this one. Just went for the classic, you know, the, the Tai Chi method of going into auto combo and dropping the super anyway. Very unfortunate. Again, like I mentioned, these first to one formats, these small mistakes and uh, just like are, are just that much more punishing. Absolutely. Oh, that. Almost that could have been a really nasty conversion. When you get that weird air hit on the JU, it still kind of works like it used to, so you can actually get a nasty conversion with it. <laughs> it's almost another nasty conversion with that 4H too. Um, yep. You know, something that I feel like when, when I play ball, I'm never ready for it to hit like that. I always feel like <laughs> I, I messed up the combo, and then it just juggles in the most awkward way imaginable. Oh yeah! Oh, Great beautiful anti air. Great there out. we go! Oh no! Buff Belial. But you know we're 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 just looking for one DP one one little two L here, uh, just a small fireball. It's gonna take the round. I'm 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 not holding that buff belly. He needs it. <laughs> really will fucking sucks. Yeah, early lead coming out on Gekiko's side. Oh, trying to H coming out from uh, Tatsu as well. And another just these far heavies, of course. You know the belly old player's best friend. Five U Sanguine mentioned. You know really risking it all here. Goes for the hard knockdown. Yeah, saving Queen. against Odious. Uh, but, you know, Gekiko's got the life lead still, but 
Uh, Grant's got the corner. So who's who's really got the life lead? <laughs> exactly. I love these tense situations where both players are one hit away from death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your your uh, fifty percent life lead here means nothing in the face of the boot. Speaking of, oh, oh botches a combo just a bit. Uh, Time we got OD. Heck, OD though. And there we go. That's gonna be a nice little pressure extension here for Gekiko. Both players are just woo, barely holding on here. Huge shot. No punish. punish. Come on, grab jump scare. And you gotta, <laughs> you, you know, the the jury is still out. I still wonder if that was an easy input or not because it did have the OD damage buff, but it it looked like it was a real one. So the the jury is still out on that one. I always have to say, I'm, I always uh, you know. Got to call out our local Belial players for being lazy and easy input in command. Well, it would have mattered, right? It was OD. Uh, it's always the, the the same whether you do the the easy input or not. Well, right. That's the thing with the game mechanic of the game that I've put like 600 hours in and I just now realized that that's a thing. Right. In OD, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, Whoops. So huge damage coming around, closing out the yeah. round. And, uh, you know, Tatsu also wanting the salty run back. These two... Uh, fighting to the death in the arena. Yeah, I mean, both of them just covered in blood, you know, just but a flesh wound, just ready to swing back and go for it once again. I do have to say, I still kind of believe in the Tatsu sweep, though. He's been he's been on a hot streak. Uh, Gekiko's managed to finally interrupt it, but I still think, you know, he's he's feeling himself today. I mean, he he must be if he has to stay on, right? So yeah, one hundred percent. Ah, no bait on the reversal. <laughs> Huge, nice crouch confirm. Uh, mm -hmm. Taking the hard knockdown. Push to the corner now. It's found another good extension here, but no cancel. Probably wanted the fireball. Uh, Gekiko side there. The boot comes flying through and another 2M counter hit. Those have been just the bread and butter of Gekiko's gameplay here. And I mean, can you blame her? That Belial, that Belial 2M, it really got me acting strange. Like, that, that was a button and a half. Oh, yeah. I mean, both these characters uh, are a bit of 2M enthusiasts. But, you know, it's... Yeah. Uh, Gekiko's got a lot in the line here with Libby threatening divorce in the chat. Um, yeah, definitely. So she's really turned it on here and uh, it's, it's showing in the gameplay. Yep. Oh, very nice space on the Elismodius. Uh, you know, it's it's nice to be safe, but it's also uh, somewhat threatening for the uh, defender because if you press, you might just whiff. And we saw the super whiff Belial before. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> there are options to make that combo. I know. <laughs> I know, don't interrupt my propaganda here, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I know you can just 2-H and go for an L fireball and it works, but... Let's not talk about that here. Nice OD activation from Tatsu. Oh, and what is that RPSTP with no punish? Tatsu wasn't even ready. And with that, he'll just die yeah. lost and confused. I mean, Tatsu is definitely waiting to block that, right? But it just went right over his head and landed on the other side. No hit stop. Yeah. Uh, so he wasn't quite ready to hit the the punish timing. Um, that was such a bizarre DP because no normally you'd see, you see it get blocked on the way up and then it stays on the same side, but it was like yeah. just perfectly spaced to both whiff and go over. So uh, you know, perfectly calculated as they would say. Tatsu bro, so I don't feel so good. But, uh, very it's very impressive uh, stuff from Tatsu. Um, you know. Taking out the remaining crewmates on Swampin' side, and then uh, taking life from Gekiko as well. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we are just really, really even though, again, so we're just going to see who comes in next. Either Ryori or Akira for the Dragoi team, which is going to be a nice one to see. I'm hoping for Ryori, I'm going to be honest. I just want to see Ryori gaming. It's going to be Akira, so at least you get I to see some Kag. That, uh... Blyle does extremely well against Soros. Uh The the yeah. five frame two L completely changes the way that Soros has to play the game. Uh, so I'm not surprised to see Akira come out here. Although I do yeah. think that uh, at this sort of mid level, uh, this is a, a very challenging matchup for Cagliostro um, because uh, de dealing with uh, Blyle five U can be very troublesome. Um, 
I think at, 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 at a, depending on if, if uh, Akira has the punishes down, um, it can really shape how this matchup looks. Yeah. Um, Definitely. But. And it's going to be interesting to see as well if, you know, Gekiko has the um, matchup familiarity against uh, Cagliostro as well. Of course, Cagliostro is a pretty, you know, decently well-represented character in EU. Uh, of course, y'all know all about that in NA as well. <laughs> yeah, she's so, uh, quite the popular character over here. Yeah. But we'll see how it works out. As you mentioned, I mean, she is a very, uh, you know, unique character. Uh, if you don't have the matchup experience, you don't have the, the practice. Uh, even, even if you know how to deal with her on paper, if you haven't actually put it into practice, it can be extremely challenging and very, very punishing. Yeah. One combo into the traps and suddenly you're, you're not feeling so good. Yeah. Man, every time, you know, every time I see, you know, since editing the intros rock, I'm always so astonished by just how horny Belial is as a character, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, that's your character right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's, that's my king right there! Oh, beautiful 2H! Uh, I think Akira uh, botching a bit of a uh, TK teleport input there, unfortunately getting the, the air traps and losing uh, half their health on there. Yeah, and this one definitely hurts. To get a little bit of a- Oh yeah, there we go! That was the pressure situation into the command grab. Akira not ready, and everyone gets boomer checked at least once. Of course, a really, really good thing in the first one setting, but now Akira keeping a little bit of distance here. Nice interruption. Not that Ingeki could just run in. It's going to be pushing her toward the trap as well. Yeah, it's, uh... Ingeki could really showing a lot of favor in using that EX command grab to close out the rounds. And, uh, as you mentioned, in the, the first one setting, it's so strong. Uh, Uh, longer format, oh. you definitely got it on your mind, but cat combo coming out. Potential fuzzy? No. Yep. No fuzzy allowed here. Oh, goes for the rush, and it goes through the OD activation, but Gekiko just mashing on Wake Up. Doesn't matter. Just sending it. Unfortunately, no conversion here. Definitely, you can go for something wacky there off these air hits, but uh, Akira making it work and taking the round back. I think with the SSB on deck there too, she could have gone for that to, to kill. But it's always uh, a little bit challenging confirming the air hits, right? Um, yeah, definitely. Uh, expecting to hit on the ground, you do the full auto combo, and then notice they're already too high up to, to follow up. Yeah. So usually with Belial, you can go for the 236H4L uh, follow up, the, re the real weird one. That one will usually correct it always so you can fire the after, but. Uh... It can be a lot of awareness that you need to go for that in those situations and definitely can't blame Gekiko for not being ready for that one. And another, this Maladi getting blocked here, she's been really, really good about not preemptively teching and just getting Maladied. Yeah, we've got some some good blocks on the overhead. Uh, so may maybe like to see a throw come out next time from Akira, but uh, gonna have to get out of this corner first and does it with the overdrive. Yep. Oh, that's gonna be a full conversion here from Akira. Sets up for the trap, that's gonna be a full exchange. Oh no! Punch Sudden. the drop! Oh no, you hate to see it. And that's yeah, gonna just, be it as well. Just a normal trap, so didn't have the, the time there to run up and uh, combo like you would if you had an EX trap down um, for the hard knockdown. Uh, yeah. Had the super on deck too, so it would have been a, a, a guaranteed kill, but uh, unfortunately for Akira, gonna going to lose their life there. And, uh, maybe we see Riori come out yep. uh, to try to stop Gekiko's uh, hot streak here. Yeah, uh, Three wins in a row. But yeah, I mean, that was uh, really close rounds, honestly, so... Always good to see a great Grand Blue like that. Oh yeah, most definitely. But yeah, now we have Riori coming through as well here. Gonna, of course, be wrapping the Zoras. I have no doubt in my mind about that. It's going to be interesting to see if he's going to be able to just out-violence Gekiko. Because that's the thing about Riori. Is he's really good at just once his momentum gets going, he just doesn't stop, right? He just absolutely runs his offense. And it's very easy to just get caught up in that and just explode. I gotta 
gotta say I love this name coming out from Ryori Bochi Punch Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's been um he's he's been posting all about that recently. <laughs> I haven't watched it, but I heard people like it a lot. Yeah, gotcha. we had a uh, RQ come over for uh Combo Breaker. Um uh -huh. or no, I'm sorry, Frosties. And uh yeah. RQ's uh, Bochi GIF game goes so hard. <laughs> he posted an unbelievable number of Bochi GIFs in the NAPC Discord over that weekend. <laughs> Just absolutely outrageous number. Uh, very yeah. impressive. Got the whole arsenal on deck, I think. And yeah, you can tell that all of these players are really serious because uh, we got so many esports colors coming through today. Yeah, it's uh, that's how you know someone's bringing their main. You only got to pick one character uh, for the skin, so yeah, <laughs> definitely. Unless you know, un unless you're uh, you're a Chad Belial enjoyer, where you technically get two because of Avatar. <laughs> get the Avatar one for free. Yeah, just out of range to combo that far H into the 63H. Uh, almost definitely one of the fireball there. That being, uh, of course, the Grand Blue Classic that uh, yeah. we all know and love. I love, I mean, hate with a passion. Yeah, one hundred percent. It could be worse. Could be the could be the KOF input buffer where you need to TK all of your fireballs to not get DP. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I did. Uh, we saw this coming to play just uh, a moment ago, but I mentioned that this matchup, the Blaus who all really warps. Um, how Source has to play, but the Source 63H can also warp how Belial plays. Uh, being yeah. a character with a six frame, high priority uh, special move, uh, Source can actually interrupt the Belial 2M 2M. Yep. Uh, so he he's always forced to change it up just a bit. Yeah, really great stuff from Yuri here taking the first round, gets a nice extension as well. To be able to get the corner pressure going. Of course, that medium dash punch now plus, finally. So it gets the plus frames here, but a nice DP from Gekiko is going to be able to get herself out of the sticky situation here. Nice confirm. Doesn't quite have the spacing there to confirm into the far light. Yeah, great counter hit confirm, but got a little greedy trying to save the Asmodeus cooldown. Yeah. And once again, you know. Far Heavy, my beloved. If no one got me, Far Heavy got me. Almost death already for the funny Bunchy Punch Man. And yeah, goes for the very, very obvious OD here, unfortunately. It's gonna get baited out. And we're gonna be evening things up in round two. I like that from uh, Gekiko. Uh, I think she both outspaced it and reacted with the, the dodge, really showing yeah. uh, mastery against that OD. Yeah. The corner pressure game as well. Boomer check succeeds. The boomer has been checked, and I mean, look at Soros. He's hello. He's definitely getting boomer checked. I've just not been able to get out of the corner. My dearest brother, I write to you in dear in melancholy. Oh no! Nice spot touch, but no punish on the far heavy here as well. Has to go yeah, for really something, but just here for But gets the OD, and uh, Soros has a lot of chip damage before OD, so. Uh, pretty scary to block here. Um, doesn't quite kill Soros having uh, just a bit higher than average health. Um, yeah. But one DP from winning. Uh, Gekio sitting in a pretty comfortable position. Yeah. Yo, Samsha? <laughs> Can we play in the newt? Oh, and the 2 <laughs> I think that was a, a tough spot for Riori. Normally you would love to install a Soros here. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, they were so low on health that chip damage would become a factor if they spent their OD. Yeah. But Riori getting sent back in, you know, uh, getting ready to try and run it back. But right now, Gekiko is just kind of sweeping the primal tier and Team Drago here. That extension once again. Once again into the corner, and this is a tough situation. I mean, if your uh, Sora is getting pressured by Belial, it's really, really rough. Sora, of course, doesn't have a DP or anything of the sort. He's able to get a conversion here, but unfortunately drops the link. No anti-air once again on the MDP. That's been something that Gekiko has been getting away with murder a little bit here. Yeah, I mean, that MDP and uh, the H command grab as well, both extremely difficult tools to deal with um, on Belial's side. 
when the Belial also mixes up the, the two M's, the throws, you know, the close L, close M frame traps. As we mentioned earlier in this stream, there's just so many options. And uh, again, on paper, reactable. In reality, <laughs> much more difficult. Yeah. <laughs> much more difficult. This is how it starts, though. This is where the Soros Gaming starts with once again getting caught up by the DP. Ryori not having baited a single one yet. It's kind of been getting smoked. Oh no, he's French. He is officially French. Gets hit by the Maladie. Ryori having a hard time reading Gekiko's tempo here. Uh, not dealing with the uh, offense or defense uh, successfully here and just. And yeah, unfortunate round with another OD bait. Yeah, gets absolutely cooked here. And with that, uh, only Akira remains here. Meanwhile, there is not, you know, not a single life outside of one uh, lost from Gekiko here so far on the side of Team Swampen. And Stack and Tuho still kind of just waiting in the back, ready to go, while uh, Akira has to be defending the last life on the primal side of Team Dragoa here. Akira's got a, a tough road ahead of them. Uh, you know, Cagliostro the losing every matchup, of course, so you've got three bad matchups uh, on the side of Team Swampin to, to deal with and five lives to get through, so. We'll, we'll have to see what they pull out. Uh, yeah. We, we did see this matchup earlier, and it, it was quite close. Um, it was definitely very close. I mean, it was. It really came down to Akira just dropping, you know, the the killing combo. Unfortunately. Oh, nice DP nice bait. They'll be able to extend. Yeah, very smart there. Noticing the far H would push into the trap, and uh, just holding it. Extension here from Akira, and already just one hit away from winning here. Oh, five U Sanguine mentioned for sure, and. Uh, yeah, that's actually, that might be what turns the tables here in the momentum. Nice backshift here from Akira, just get, gets out of the situation. And, oh no, confirmed! That could have been it once again. Yeah, with the counter hit there would have been able to, to finish uh, Gekiko off, but... Uh, managed, managing to get it out with a, a delay 2M press here. Yeah. Definitely been a few shenanigans going on here. Uh, just Gekiko just running in, no fear. And does manage to make it work. Akira also French, we have to keep that in mind, so the Malady is on the table. It's just kind of getting cooked in the corner, or just stuck in this pressure, doesn't know where to press. No confirm, unfortunately, from Gekiko, but it doesn't matter. Still working on the perfect hit. That was an easy input. Stop being lazy, real input would have killed. And perfect <laughs> coming out. Yeah, I mean, Cagliostro here, of course, with uh, no DP, so um, yeah. struggling a bit in this, this corner game against Belial. Uh, and the early JH here for Gekiko going to give her the corner and let her really push the advantage. There we go. First Fight. good anti-air on an MVP here coming through. Gonna be pushing Gekiko into the corner as well. And once again, doesn't bite on the Malady. Has been really, really good about not getting hit by those. Nice mash from Akira. Gonna be able to get a nice corner situation going here. Combo limit coming through, but still gets the throw. Nice bait! Don't mess up the punish. Oh no! I hate it! Wow, Ooh, very impressive that Far H uh, didn't extend its hurt box into the yeah. OD and just yeah. managed to whiff entirely. You know, may, may have missed the, the Dragon Punch uh, yeah. punish, but got the OD punish and sealed the round. But yeah. extremely impressive stuff coming out from Gekiko, taking a solid. Uh, five lives from the Dragoi Primals. Yeah. Absolutely. Akira is still holding on. He's gonna have to deal with both, uh, you know, Yip Master 420 himself, Tuho Juho. That was his actual name on a replay channel, which is uh, <laughs> pretty great. I Yip love Master these replay channels. Right? <laughs> yeah, Yip Master 420. The dual Yip Yip. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. There was a, a replay channel going around that was... Uh, Maybe a little bit questionable with their automation. Um, there were a number of names, like there were, I think, like three different matches loaded with the name Doggers, and, <laughs> and no, like no one was named Doggers except in one of the matches. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, those those shadows are always great. There's there's just so much good <laughs> shit out there. I was like, 
like Virum versus Schroding, Schrodinger's plus frames or some bullshit like that. Like there, there's been so many good ones recently pulled with all of the wacky names that we got over here. Yeah, that's, that's the real reason to uh, yeah. have a fun meme name in the in the lobby is just to to bait the replay scalpers into uploading something stupid. <laughs> yeah, especially because they always, you know, they always have the same like automatically generated thumbnail as well with the name right and you just see like the banner of Yip Master 420. And that shit just kills me every time. <laughs> <laughs> and you know someone someone scrolling scrolling YouTube and they just see this they're like, "Yo, Yip Master 420, that's That's my favorite that's, one. That's my dude. <laughs> that's my boy right there. Time to replay Vulture all of them shits. That's going to be so good. I still remember, the, the weirdest instance of a replay vulture that I've ever seen is um, ages ago, this was in like late season 1 I believe even, um, I was playing against uh, Zavid and we were just random selecting before Luna Lu was in the game obviously, so we were just random selecting. And for some reason, some replay scalper like yoinked our set of me just like trying to figure out how to play Narmaya on the fly and him <laughs> trying to figure out how to play Percival on the fly. Yeah, and a... It was just a shit show. And for some reason, some replay channel was like, high level gameplay, brother toast Narmaya. <laughs> uh, my, my favorite is uh, there's a shark movie um, bot that got scalped. And it's uh, it's literally a button check. <laughs> it's just high level gameplay. And it's like shark movie and some other Japanese player. And they're literally doing a button check. That's so fucking hard. Holy and shit. then one player just dies to auto combo because they just go back to the room. Yeah. Now, here's the um, here's the big lore for uh, for this matchup here. Ne never go on Hearts or Blazing and search up Enstek's name and the word connection. Worst mistake of my life. So <laughs> th th this man is uh, susceptible to uh, delay-based netcode and also being from Germany, which you, you know means that you inadvertently have dog shit internet. It's just how it goes. We live in a real scuffed country here. Um, where, you know, they invested in television over internet because that's a passing fad, no joke. So, this is going to come down to whether or not Enstek, you know, first off, his connection's going to be holding up well for him, and if he can just keep his composure, because when he plays composed, he plays really, really well, but uh, he can kind of go down the drain a little bit when things don't work out well for him, but for now, it's looking really, really even with just, you know, getting these neutral interactions, and so... Uh, yeah, things are so far looking very calm for both players. Instead, not necessarily showing any signs of uh, tilt at the connection here. And uh, this matchup is, uh, in my opinion, it's not actually too bad for Kag. Uh, however, uh, her options are extremely limited by Matera. Um, yeah. Matera having great options against the Aerostalls with the uh, disjointed Antares. And. Uh, also, just generally being able to shut down any of Kag's like zoning by being a sort of the, the superior like full time zoner. Yeah. Um, I'm so just it, enjoying it, the fact that this round is almost over and we haven't seen a single combo. <laughs> yeah, I mean both players uh, just trying to, to zone here, but uh, as I mentioned, you know, Matera, Matera going to be a bit better in in the the zoning trades. Yeah. Some faster, uh, less committal options, and just generally doesn't ever need to sort of approach CAG setups. Um, however, Matera does not really have uh, exceptional defense, um, so she can definitely die uh, when CAG gets the corner like this. Definitely. And I mean, we're seeing it right now. Uh, Ensek does put himself in the corner here, but immediately gets out as well. Has been just ratting all over the place. Nice anti-air as well, but isn't able to get a pickup here, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, Akira has been using, uh, you know, the invocation of Dwayne The Rock Johnson to try and tank through these projectiles, but it just has not been working out the way he wanted to. Also, just the SSDA just getting sent by Insect like that doesn't quite feel, but it's very, very close. One stray arrow is going to take you out here. This is a really tough situation for Akira. And yeah, that'll yeah. do it. It's, it's so hard when uh, you've got that, that pixel against Matera. You feel like you need to make a desperate play to get in, but... The Desperate Flay is exactly how she hits you and finishes off yep. the round. And with that, all the primals on the side of Team Jugoi have been struck down. And with that, we'll be moving on to the Eternals here. So this is going to be uh, 
the best of the best for what the team has to offer, and we have the lineup of TK Dog, Light Yagami, and Cake, the funny dive kick Rick Beelzebub man. Of course, yeah, you know, everyone's uh, also favorite TO and commentator. You know, I think I think this is an like sort of a pretty interesting lead for for Swampton's team here because uh, when I look at these uh, eternal characters on Dragoy's side, the uh, Cagliostro, the Vera, the Beelzebub, none of them really stand out to me as like the go-to Matera counter, right? Um, yeah. You know, being being. No Theox gaming. <laughs> yeah, Matera being, of course, a a. In my opinion, um, like a strong mid tier uh, with a couple really bad matchups. Yeah. Um, and so, but with those matchups not on the table, uh, suddenly she's she looks like a pretty good character. Um, yeah, so that's normally this is you, why you everyone. Love... Yeah, this is why everyone needs their pocket six, you know. <laughs> yeah, normally you would you would love to send out a Belial, a six, even even like a Gran uh, can yeah. do quite well against her. But uh, you know, we have Cag. We just saw that matchup. Uh, Insect looked pretty comfortable in it, not not really engaging too much with uh, the CAG shenanigans, uh, just staying back and zoning. Uh, Vera, of course, always having a bit of a, a problem with zoners. Um, no yeah. non-system mechanic way to deal with the projectiles. Um, you know, may, maybe gets to abuse some of her frame data off uh, Scarlet, uh, EX Scarlet Oath. And, uh, you know, Bills above, I think, uh, maybe wins a little bit, but you know, it's it's a matchup where Matera can uh, cover the dive kick angle very well with her two H, and uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll be interested to see who uh, they send out. Who who has the most confidence in Matera? Uh, I think it's going to be Cake. Yeah, I mean, you have plenty of Materas to play with, right? So if if Cake's got the the game count against you know Dudikoff, uh, Mister Pow, etc., it's it just makes sense. Um, Excuse me, Dudikoff is a Seox man. <laughs> he just doesn't want to accept it. <laughs> I mean, everyone's a, a Seox main. We're just all in denial. So <laughs> that is like, incredibly true. That is so fucking true. <laughs> God. Especially if you're, you know, if you're a washed-up commentator like me, you can just play Seox, slop your way to victory, and things will work out fine. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I think I always feel like so much of fighting Matera is also just the the player's comfort level too. Um, yeah, when you're not sure. playing one of those specific matchups. For sure, for sure. Should we go in and ask them who's gonna show up? Uh, I'm pretty sure they haven't decided yet, otherwise we'd have someone. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yesterday I also did this. We did... Yeah, we go check in on the team, so of how they yeah, think they're can, doing and stuff. We can do so if you want, sure. Let's go to Tragoy first. Okay. Since they are currently behind. Yeah. Hello. Hello. What's, what's, what's How are on? you guys? Wait, why are How are you feeling really? right now? Oh my god. <laughs> Nobody wait, told wait. me about the interview. I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> no. I, I no, actually no said it in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> We're just here to, to harass you about your, your next player selection. Yeah. Uh, who's going to handle the Instec Matera? The it's Instec Matera? Yeah, it's, it's a secret. It, it's a secret. You'll, you'll find I, out. Momentarily, I'm sure. It's the, it's the <laughs> but we're here to harass you until you tell us. Like, we're not leaving. <laughs> it's the second best pops in the UK. Okay, that's fair. So Hold it's gonna on. be me. Yeah. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up a second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Have you fellas rolled the wheel of option select yet? Uh, a couple of times. We need okay. to roll it more, though. Okay, okay. Ro roll it for me right now, real quick. Let me let me let me know what uh, what the download is here for this uh, upcoming matchup. I need, I need to contact uh, the the wheel man one sec. Yeah. I think the, the wheel man is playing in a Tekken tournament at the moment. That is fitting, true. considering that uh, Kazuya Mishima has just pulled up to the stand. <laughs> um, is he gonna kill him? He's then gonna, gonna him kill him. Yeah, no secret member. That is actually the, um, the the real trap card at the end. You know, if you defeat uh, Team Dugoy, I'm gonna be showing up. I'm gonna materialize in your house. I'm not yeah. gonna play Gramblu. I'm just going to kill you in real life. <laughs> <laughs> it's in your walls. 
I am already in your walls. You cannot run from me. I'm here. But yeah, looks like we're, uh, the decision has been made. The OS wheel has been spun. Yes. Mm -hmm. I guess we'll go check in on the other team then. Right, 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 right. 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 They're confident. See yeah. if they are like overconfident or yeah. something. <laughs> Alright, alright, let's pop up. Good luck to y'all. Thank, Thank you. Good luck, Thank luck to you too. Oh, wait, they don't hear us. Okay, now, hello there, stream! Why, it's hello. fucking streaming. Hello. See, we've got six uh, yeah. Ariads in the chat. That's. Yeah. 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 Yo, what the hell? Yeah. What He's the our hell? mascot. Alright, it's exactly. our mascot. Exactly. I'm, I'm the mascot of the team right now. So, Swampin is just sleeping right now in the background, and so I'm basically yeah. sleeping right now. Yeah, yeah. Well, welcome to Team Ariad. <laughs> so, you, so you you all have a a pretty big lead going to this the second half. Feeling feeling confident? Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, We're currently feeling nervous. Nervous. A dream. 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 <laughs> Bro, exposing the French weakness. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm playing these matches and I just have nine people on a call yelling, "He's French! He's French!" <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm excluding. That the thing is, why was the most the loudest one saying, "Yo, he's French. Go fuck the universe over it." I mean, I mean, I'm the closest to them, so of course I know. Yeah, French. Yeah, that's how it works. I didn't got paid for anything. That's just how it goes. Yeah, yeah. But I hope you caught my M command grab reference. Fuck you, man. But anyways, uh, shout outs to our Open Wolf and Gekiko here because they've showed a sweeping role for the day. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I was super nervous after I was super nervous after dropping my first game and then I just kind of yeah, and let the voices just... take over. The yeah, we just screamed so much at Gekiko and Gekiko just pulled out all those plays. <laughs> yeah. That's how you get better at playing Belial, you just stop medicating. Let the voices <laughs> take over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let the six different riots in your head take over. Oh yeah, that, <laughs> no, that sounds like that, that's, that's how you know they're French. Oh right, right, because the voices are telling you. <laughs> Besides of the making this team a riot, we have another meme. Uh, Sleepy, you can find it in pinned in the Grand Blue versus channel. It happened during the switch from the <laughs> to game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hang on, let that's me get hard. On, on you hard. need to play that up on stream. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Uh, I just want to say a shout out to my friend Axiom for making that meme. So yeah, shout <laughs> out to him. So it is so good. I hope this can get on the stream. Hell, us in here are just dying. Like I don't know, it's a massacre. We're that's having the time, the time of our right lives time. here. Oh, yeah. yeah, um, please throw the games now so that's more even, thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, throw, throw some games, uh, stream, you can't hear this right now, just close your ears. If you're in the stream listening right now, just cover your ears, just go la 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 la, you know, you don't hear anything. Um, so, you guys are gonna throw a few games here, okay? We're just gonna pretend like Enstek is like molding about connections, dropping or something. Oh, so definitely. Fine. Yeah. In, in reality, it's okay, we're just gonna pretend. Yeah. And stack is just gonna freeze up from laughing so much because the adrenaline is too high in the air. Yeah, it works. Uh, it works. It's out of system. Like, <laughs> I don't look like I just took something I shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, well, this team is hmm. amazing. We have uh, such a good energy here. As you can see, yeah, of course. We have double loss. The, the voice chat yeah. is the fun part. Also, yeah, the, the 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 other funniest thing was Strider's disappointment when he knew that the Zwei is coming. <laughs> I could imagine. <laughs> I could actually physically imagine it. How fucking disappointed Strider had to be. His first words, like when he heard when he heard the Zwei, his Zwei is coming inside. Like, okay, I'm going to sleep. Bye. <laughs> no, <laughs> I had to pitch in. I knew Strider was in. I had to pitch in for him, for my brother and him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but still. Uh, Alright, man. Yeah. Um, yes, we will let you uh, throw, I mean, play the matches then. Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely. Just remember, we might be dying from laughter here. Yeah, 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 that's, that's... yeah don't worry about that, it. That explains the, the, the dropped combos that we'll see. Like... For oh, sure, yeah. for sure. That's what I would say in this situation, if I drop my combo. <laughs> also, also okay. all those DP in the inputs as well. 
Yeah. We just decided mm -hmm. to walk forward. Oh, so Gekiko, yeah, if you press forward. if you press easy input command grab one more time, I will find you. <laughs> I don't do it for the damage. I do it for the the fear. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. The real that... culprit here is Strider, because Strider was screaming. Yeah. Easy input command grab. Easy input command grab. No, no, no it was the one in charge. The one in charge. The one in charge. The one in charge. I need to rejoin room grid crack. Lost connection. Not against. I see. I see. Some reason. All right, you nerds. We're gonna we're gonna hop over back to the commentary yeah. channel, and we've had the. Uh, have All fun, right. enjoy the rest of the event, and I will be back right. at the evening. Don't you too, enjoy. Yeah. Bye bye. Yes, bye. Yeah. What a bunch of nerds. Right. Right? Yeah, for real. Uh, who plays Grand Blue? Who does that? Yeah. Nerds. yeah that's, apart that's from uh, former president uh, Donald Trump and, uh, <laughs> and Barack Obama and Joe Biden. I hope you all saw that video. I <laughs> hope you all saw the Merp video. <laughs> that shit was so good. <laughs> I've missed it. I've missed. It. I'm not even in tune with the the American memes. <laughs> yeah, that, that's actually rough. We're gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to send it to Sleepy. I'll, we're gonna I'll have to watch a, it together. I'll take a look again. at it later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. don't worry. Sleepy, we're can you put uh, can you put up a Twitter video on stream after we're done? <laughs> well, right now we've got a uh, maybe in stack here against Cake uh, Kazuya Mishima. So exactly the matchup you yeah, thought we'd see most. Uh, yeah. Obviously, Kate gonna have a, a lot of experience against Matera being a popular character, uh, for sure. Um, yeah. Also, of course, you know, once Beelzebub starts just doing his thing, he doesn't stop, right? It doesn't matter who he's playing against. Beelzebub just does Beelzebub things, either way. So, I feel like if you're gonna send in anyone against Matera, you send in the person who cares the least about what's going on on the screen. Yeah, that absolutely makes sense. Just get in once and uh, try to snowball it, which is, you know, always a strike against Matera. Definitely. I mean, Matera, as we all know, uh, her defense is, a, let's let's call it, somewhat lacking. Uh, so she definitely tends to get blown up, just like she's getting blown up right now by the Czech Kometo, putting her in the corner, and Cake taking the first round here. Pretty much unscathed, only took a little bit of stray damage here. Yeah, and, uh, Cake making use of the, the teleport to get in. Uh, Insect, maybe not used to, to playing around it. Um, Obviously, yeah. it's it's always something to threaten, um, but it, if you bait it out, you can punish it. So, yeah. See if they adjust by maybe slowing down a little bit, um, adding some more gaps to their their zoning sequences. <laughs> Real beyond above neutral on display currently. <laughs> yep. Tries to go for the janky setup. Probably missed this. I'm calling it out right now. This time just missed grab. his uh, command grab input. That was a, that was a command grab. Ten, ten out of ten. Yeah. Uh, this was yeah, also yeah. a command grab uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that he didn't expect to cross up. Yeah. But, uh, hey, please input your command grab properly. We're all very works, disappointed. It works out well for him there. And uh, yeah, they're, yeah. they're going to leave Insteck in. Um, get, get the salty run back. Yeah, 100%. Oh, please wait. A little bit of a connection I'm waiting. issue. Oh, no. Connection. Uh oh, uh oh. This is. And it was Insteck dying, actually. Well, I guess that I guess that adds up. I guess they are doing the. the oh, thing it was we a mistake on the, the rematch match. Um, was a mistake. Oh, okay. Is the RDX You're still losing the, the point. Fuck you. <laughs> we need to even things up here. But there is there is the legend. Yep, Master Four Twenty. You know, I've I've been waiting for this ever since I I saw them on the the replay scalper channel. You know, Yep, Master yeah, Four Twenty yeah. has always been my favorite UL player. 100%. I mean, I hate all Yule players with like a deep burning passion, but Yip Master for 20, he's alright. <laughs> but, uh, be interesting to see. Uh, I think someone mentioned uh, Tuho's actually gonna make it out to Combo Breaker this year, so it'll be interesting yeah. to see him on the, the state side. Always cool to see folks uh, traveling um, yeah, he's internationally like that. Yeah. Believe in victory. Definitely coming through. But yeah, I mean, look at uh, look at Cake, you know, going for the patented Beelzebub neutral immediately, spinning and diving. <laughs> yeah, he just spin 214, and yeah. uh, sometimes you jump, sometimes you don't, and that's, that's your neutral. Yeah, 100%. So there was a there, there was a very funny little incident in uh, Hearts of Blazing where someone thought a Beelzebub player was like BMing them, 
when all they were doing is like neutral jumping. And they were really shocked when we had to tell them that's like a legitimate Beelzebub neutral strategy because you're faking out the dive. Right? Yeah, I mean, they're, you're just waiting it's for a whiff person. or something, trying to whiff punish yeah. with uh, Tomb for H. Yeah, this poor person thought they were like BMing. <laughs> when they were just playing regular Beelzebub. <laughs> Like it's like almost uh, a daily character. occurrence to like uh, after the end of the round when everyone is always mashing to the next round and like five U comes yeah. out or something. And everyone's like, "Oh, this Blau player is trolling me because they're yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably, oh great OD bait though. Oh. oh, gets the counter hit punish too. Oh no, no extension. But didn't have the didn't have the two three six. That's the yeah, didn't have oh, too no. many uh, cooldowns to work with there. He tried to jump. Yeah, Bubs two H is uh, taller than a sky skyscraper and going to. Uh, clean yeah. this up into the SDA. Really easy. Yeah. I was a tiny little bit worried that might leave him at a pixel, but it was OD, so. Eh, we take this. Tremendous damage on the Empire. Yep. I'm just seeing some Chaos Caliber neutral. Uh, first fireball thrown, immediately gets jumped. So yep. Great looking out for from a Yip Master 420. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he yipping it up as we speak. And that's the cake! That's the cake! I fucking knew this was gonna happen. The, if you don't know the lore, cake always, and I mean genuinely always, when he gets hit by non-counter hit overhead, he always fucking mashes every single time, and it works for some reason. It is infuriating. It's only plus one, you know? It's yeah. it's not really that many plus frames to work with, so... Not going to let his opponent get more than what they've earned. Uh, just, yeah. Just presses. Take back his turn. Yeah, the Yip Master getting yipped up here. Get put into the corner as well. And have to deal with this pressure. Oh, finds a nice JU out. And yeah, OD, oh, both activating OD, the singular brain cell coming through, being shared among these players. <laughs> yeah, pretty unfortunate for, uh... Well, normally I would say it's pretty unfortunate for Tuho getting hit there, but it did push him into, uh, SSBA range, but it's not gonna become, become a factor yeah. here. With, uh, Comedy grab. Coming through. He actually managed to do the input right this time, so Cake managing to earn his hard fought victory here. Maybe one out of three on the command grab inputs at this point. <laughs> yeah, we are one out of three. We're working towards it, you know. Maybe with uh, Tuho actually pressing the rematch here, we're gonna get to the point where uh, we can be two for two or something. Oh yeah, this one, it's a real rematch this time? Uh. Yeah, real rematch, not all to four match it. Cake looking for a lot of DPs, which, I mean, you're playing against a UL player, so you definitely expect them. Uh, but yeah. honestly, not getting too <laughs> many good. in this set. Uh, good patience from uh, Tuho here to really hold on to that DP. Yeah, 100%. Nice RPS into the OD as well. Really nice. It's going to be able to get a knockdown here. But the MVP, that's the funky thing about Beelzebub when you're trying to pressure him on uh, Wake Up, is that MVP is so slow, it actually messes with uh, safe medias a lot of the time. Yeah, I mean, so so many other times you get that, that safe media or that safe jump and uh, press the the option select uh, sort of like late late jab or something, and then it comes out anyways um, because the, yeah. the DP is just so slow. Zombie was saying, you will players love sick RPS DP. It is true. He knows. He has the thing. If I was playing a character with like six reversal, I would also use them. Uh, yeah, well, huge two H coming out from Cake here. Um, you know, I I feel like uh, it's very difficult to make use of ULs JU in this matchup just because that two H is just yeah. so tall. Um, yeah, or so any JU for that matter. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so so many of the ranges that where you would normally press your uh, air stall button, you're just going to get cooked by the your uh, size of the 2H. And uh, here comes uh -huh. the, the first RPS TP I think we've seen, really. Sick uh, RPS. And uh, Ake was not ready for it. I mean, now's the time to go for it. He really has to make it happen here, considering that um, two O's on his last life, one round away from death here. It's him not ready to punish that teleport. Yeah. I think, uh, I can see Tuho leverage the far a bit more, and uh, that's exactly what he does, so, love to see it. 
really nice. It's gonna be able to get the extension. Oh, the overdrive comes out. Both players once again in overdrive. So both of them just have uh, have to resource and take another teleport comes out. No punish from Tuho. No sick RPS DP this time, but the sick RPS dive on the reverse. So let's see if this whips. It does not. Yeah, Cake opting not to try to hold the super there, uh, noticing that maybe he knocked the UL player just uh, a bit too far. Yeah, but I think that we've been noticing here is that uh, Tuho has not really been contesting the suck. He's not been rolling the random EX Karmas. So unfortunately, he's been getting clipped a little bit. And speaking of getting clipped, just the random 2 on 4 h is going to be taking him out here. And Tuho is going to be knocked out by Cake. Yeah, just gets caught by that, that dash 2 on 4 h and... Uh going to uh, wrap things up there for for him but uh, good stuff regardless um, very I was very impressed by the uh, 5h uh, counter hit root on the OD punish in that the earlier round yeah, it was um, nice. it was nice. you know it's it's a property that I don't always see people make use of uh, mm -hmm. because I mean I think a lot of times when you when you bait that uh, OD, you just want to mash, you just want to make sure you get yeah. your, your punish, you're just like, please, 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 but, you know, you can always optimize the damage with the counter hit. 100%. Uh, so now we should have uh, Instec coming out again on the Matera. Yeah. Uh, being the last primal life on Team Swamp in here. Matera versus Beelzebub. And yeah, already we've got the people in chat saying they can feel the Bob's mirror coming soon. That would be so chaotic. <laughs> <laughs> now, I do have to say, historically, uh, we have actually seen Cake play against Strider on Bob's before. And historically, Strider has gotten the better of him in the mirror. So we'll see if Cake can, you know, defeat his demon later. But first, he's going to have to get for Enstick. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh... I don't know, we might see one of the, the boss ragas. Um I actually kind of like playing that matchup personally. Um, boss Raga mm -hmm. well, but we'll, we'll see that when it happens. Uh, Insect could very well take this game. Yeah. Definitely. Tries to go for the scuffed setup, but Insect just mashing on it doesn't worry about it whatsoever. Saying, oh, okay, you don't have a 100 meter, you can't even miss input your command drop. It'll be fine. I'm just going to press Farlight. I'm getting a bit of damage on the board. Um, Huge Chaos Caliber, a little too far for the 2H follow-up, and uh, Cake landing the command grab. Uh, Techno input closes out the round uh, due to Matera's low health. Yeah, and we're two for two. We're two for two now, unfortunately. You know, uh, we Cake is regaining his command grab composure. We're back to a 50% success rate. Yeah, and really, he was just getting warmed up. I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, see the the combo of choice. Uh, this time, not going for the scuffed minus uh -oh. setup. Of damage here, another dive coming through, and you could hear the overhead sound. Ensek was trying to mash on that, but uh, unfortunately, just gets caught out. Like just pressing on pressure, and that's gonna be it for Ensek. And all of the primals have been taken out. Yeah, had a read for a, a grab there, but Cake not giving it to them. Um, just going for the frame trap and. We're moving on to some uh, uh, Eternal vs. Eternal gaming now. Yep, let's see who we're going to have now. Let's see if we're going to have any of the Vasaraga bros or if Strider is going to come out and force the Edgelord mirror here. Of course, you know, Strider has a very, very wide pool of characters that we could see here. Mostly he goes for Beelzebub when he's being serious, but he also has a really strong Belial. And as I said before, you have uh, a lot of wild cards here as well from him. Let's see who's going to be coming in here. Once again, you know, trying to mess with us with the names, as always. Just uh, hating our the poor commentators. You know, um, it's, it's our job to uh, decipher it from their gameplay. Um, and show yeah. our, our, our knowledge here of the players. Yeah, 100%. And I'm, I'm thinking this is Strider. Tell us their character locked. You think I care? Hello? What do you mean? You can just cheat and switch anyway. Come on, Ord. Nobody would notice. Are they character locked? I wasn't actually sure. Uh, Apparently. <laughs> I 
I mean, that's fair. They've got the characters on the graph that you can't just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, can't just, you can't just go against the yeah. graphic. That's... Or, you know, Ord being a Yule player is also just a habitual liar. That's also... Uh... I mean, that's 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 their job. It's... Yeah, it's 100%. I never hold it against them. I do, but, uh, <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Yeah, we do have uh, the Edgelord Mirror, as I prophesized here. Let's see if uh, Cake is going to be able to get one up on his... Uh, you know, Mirror Demon here, Strider so far, and whenever they've played, has been able to take it. So this is going to be an interesting one. Hopefully the connection is not going to be too scuffy here, because this is Russia to uh, Great Britain. So, bit of a distance there, um, but we'll see how it works out. Yeah, I mean, that's uh, it's a Bub's Mirror. This is, in my experience, a pretty crazy volatile matchup. Yeah. And uh, Cake taking the first teleport. Uh, taking the first big risk and it paying off. Yeah. That's right, his teleport's not working out for him as well. And, uh... Cake is looking to potentially threaten the, the round ending here with uh, a bit more chip damage and a command grab. Yeah! Oh, tries to do the classic, I get DP'd, I'm DP'ing back setup, but... You know, the other players getting caught by their own shenanigans here, trying to mash on the auto time meaty threader, going for a little bit of a reset here, gets the plus frame, and they're just looking at each other. Look at us. Yeah, I mean, this was, uh, Cake had a pretty huge lead here, but uh, it's looking very even. And, uh, Karma losing to a fireball? Pretty interesting to see. I thought it was active. That's how you know right. Bubs is busted, where, like, his own projectile negating tool doesn't work specifically against his own projectiles. <laughs> That's how you know this character is a criminal. Oh, the coming to that, off that's on the up. Command grab. And, uh, that's gonna be the first round of Strider. Yeah. Now every time that uh, that, that Bubs goes, I'll still be well worried. I can't unhear Iori. They gotta put him in as a guest character. It has <laughs> to happen. <laughs> that's gonna be the first, uh, you know, next to Anila, the first uh, rising character is just gonna be Iori, King of Fighters. It's gonna be great. Wouldn't be the first time uh, Iori was a guest character. Um, Very true. Yeah, this time Strider looking really good. This should be it. Oh no, he drops it! And MVP gets hit by the... Take and this should go through, right? Yep. It trades, but it still goes through. Yeah, it trades, but very favorable trade for Strider here. Uh, taking taking a, a life off of Cake. Yeah. We are going back to the room here. Let's see if we're sending in someone else. But Cake so far has not been able to defeat the demon. Strider is still cooking, and we got <laughs> Id Idia. Uh, that, that's another. That, that's Light Yagami. Uh, that one I know for sure. That is a uh, replay channel meme once again. <laughs> yeah, the replay channels go so hard. They really do go hard. I miss GB versus fan. We need him back. <laughs> Real ones know about go. GB versus fan. Yeah. <laughs> G versus fan is the, the classic. Much better than, yeah. uh, like, Grow Tube or whatever. Yeah, 100%. High level there. My favorite replay channels are the ones that have, like, are the ones that have, like, the most unhinged mods as well installed for every game. <laughs> I don't know like... why you would. If you're going to do a replay channel, I don't know why you would do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like... Like, like, the main replay channel for KOF 15 just has, like, every mod ever made installed, so you're just watching, like, you know, Among Us, uh, fucking Rugal fighting against Riven, uh, from League of Legends. It's pretty, <laughs> it's pretty crazy stuff. <laughs> Light Yagami taking an early lead here. Yeah. Um, probably like one more hit, uh, earns, earns the meter for install. Uh, 100%. Also just having Rushdown and OD on deck almost. Oh! Dive actually coming through though, that's gonna be a beautiful rush extension here from Strider. Look at all this damage off of a dive. Yeah, huge damage for uh, Bubs off that dive kick with the uh, with rush down. Uh, yeah. I really don't want to imagine what the like the like the ultimate move dive is gonna do in Rising. Yeah, I'm thinking that uh he shouldn't get an ultimate dive kick, but that's just my opinion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean I, I hardly agree. I agree. He doesn't. Safe job, it was for tick throw. Yeah. And here's the thing, both of these players, they fucking match. 
Like, there's not gonna be uh, any blocking if we can help it in this matchup. Both of these fellas are just violent as hell every time on defense. They don't want to hold anything. So I doubt we'll see too, many, too much command tap action. That's, that's yeah, yeah, 100%. Okay, using rush down in neutral? Uh, the second time that uh, Strider has done this matchup. Brothers! Maybe, maybe just trying to get in and, and uh, take advantage of that uh, unwillingness to block you mentioned. Yeah. And there was definitely you not know, the funny DP, the MVP, but does get stuffed out trying to approach. And Strider takes another game here looking good. Right, Lowest quantity of blocking match in human history. <laughs> Some serious damage coming out for uh towards Team Dragoy from uh, Strider here. Yeah, definitely. Team Dragoy, see if they're gonna put in any of them for a rematch or if we're gonna go for a third contender here, which is going to be TK Dog, who most certainly got that dog in him. That's gonna be another one of the really, really strong Kagliostro players coming through. Yeah, I mean, well, I was uh, joking a bit earlier that uh, there was all of Cag's matchups are bads, but Bil Builds Above is definitely um, probably her worst matchup. So I would be very surprised to see uh, TK Dog here. But uh, if Light, Igami, and, and Cake aren't confident, you know, there's not another choice, right? Um, yeah. Well, there he is. So at this point, it just comes down to maybe a, a player confidence level rather than the character uh like yeah. matchup or okay, match up, yeah. yeah for sure yeah we uh we do see tk dog joining the room so that's probably what we're going to be getting here and uh this is definitely going to be an interesting one i mean as you said can be a bit rough matchup wise for cagliostro but still once cag gets going uh she could definitely just kind of roll over you so we'll see if uh, tk dog can get the momentum in this matchup here we do see him sitting down so that's going to be the choice for this game he does still do a ton of damage and can threaten uh, more damage off throws and uh, really just snowball a game, even, even in these kind of bad matchups. Um, yeah. You know, just just because the neutral is rough doesn't mean you can't get, get your offense. Yeah, for sure. Oh, damn. TK Dog, kind, kind of a grind lord. You know, I haven't seen him around in a little bit, but he's still got like eight, uh, seven point something K wins. He's kind of good, kind of. Strider, of course, has like over 9K but... Ooh, I'll get an early overhead uh, going yep. the way of uh, Strider here. And uh, TK Dog gonna have to fight their way out of the corner, uh, but gets teleported to be put back in. Okay. Yep. Nice conversion. Oh, we're going side to side. Yep, Very right back nice. into the corner, saving cooldowns. Oh, you, he really and got that TK Dog on him. Look at this route. Yeah, very nice combo. Gonna take the first round, so... Like we mentioned, uh, some, sometimes Cat can really just snowball and take advantage of those, those small mistakes and turn them into huge damage. Yeah, definitely. And a character as well that has so many like tricky shenanigans up her sleeve that especially in the first to one setting, you can get schmixed with stuff. Like, you can just... You can just not know about what's going on, but right now Strider just... He's in his element right now, just getting his offense started. This is what this man is all about. Throws the roll there, keeps uh, TK Dog in the corner, and uh, this round looking like a exact reversal of the last round. <laughs> Look, at this. Look at this man just throwing us up. He doesn't care. This man does not know. We're just rushing him down right now. Yeah, TK Dog on on chip point there, so forced to push a button, uh, gets caught by the rush down, and now it's one one. Yep, definitely. It's the safe jab, but MDP so slow. Uh, TK Dog pressing a second button, getting caught. Yeah, getting yeah, getting caught low once again. People have really been not watching their toes today uh, with that Beelzebub two on four H. Just managed mean, to jump uh, over the projector. It was pretty delayed. I saw from uh, Str uh, Strider's side, so not too surprised to see that TK Dog was getting ready to jump uh, or try to walk. And, uh, ooh, does not quite reach throw range, and TK Dog unfortunately reacting there. Um, 
I mean, what you meant to say is beautiful setup from Strider for the Corona handshake and getting the punish and conversion off of it. What a genius. Beautiful stuff. Yeah, at this point, Strider sitting in a very comfortable spot, having taken one life off of all three of their potential opponents on Team Dragoy right now. Um, potentially setting up to, to have the full six life sweep here. Yeah, I mean, it's looking it's looking pretty dire. Let's see who will uh, who will be sent to next. Let's see if we're gonna have uh, Kazuya Mishima from you know Super Smash Bros. Fame uh, come back, or if it's gonna be the unknown Od Vera. Yeah, I'm sure they're discussing it in team chat, trying to yeah. figure out who wants to play their bad matchup, <laughs> whether it's a bad player matchup, bad character matchup. Yeah, exactly. Who, who had a fluke? Who wants to run it back? <laughs> yeah, and we do have, uh, you know, we, we already got the Strider supporters in the chat. We got Hellstreak, who's, of course, uh, another Beelzebub gamer as well. So uh, it's nice to see the Beelzebub family supporting each other because everyone else kind of hates them for the character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I, I feel like those characters that receive hate. Are always the ones where like they bond, they bond on that hatred. Like, well, you oh, know, 100%. everyone else hates Bozoba, but you know, I like him because I play him. So, yeah, one hundred percent. I mean, that's the reason why you know the the Belly Little Bros were uh, formed <laughs> in the first place. You know, everyone, especially at the start of season two, was absolutely fucking losing it over that character. It was, it like, was oh, he's cute. <laughs> <laughs> he needs this. Bring back like changes. They, they brought back uh, Light Yagami. Yeah. Uh, Let's see some more Vera builds above. Uh, but Strider off to an early lead here. I mean, we're seeing we're seeing the struggle here for Vera. I mean, she has to. Uh, she has, of course, no projectile. So, getting her way in against uh, Beelzebub can be really, really tough. This character just has so much going for him. Oh, very strange DP. That was probably supposed to be a fireball coming out from Strider. This may be how it starts. Like, yeah, gonna be getting another big punish. But using the rush digs and all the way to the corner, but unfortunately drops it, and another DP comes out from Strider. This guy has no fear. I mean, I think that was a really uh, difficult decision for Light Yagami to make, because on the one hand, uh, spending the rush down there does give you the corner, uh, and does give you a ton of damage, uh, but also they were on chip point. Uh, yeah. So having access to OD might have been uh, the play there. Yeah, definitely. But you know, maybe Light's just trying to play, you know, honest good old GB versus before they added OD where you actually had to deal with chip point, you know? <laughs> yeah, and I mean uh, missing about the good old times. Funny this think? round going quite a quite a bit better for him. Uh, getting access to the install early, uh, getting a, a lot of hits here, a lot of straight hits on Strider. Uh, really adding up. Also, more so than anything, he has the funny DP on deck now. Oh no, unfortunately, extensive hurt box there into the OD that might have whiffed otherwise, but right now, able to get a little bit more pressure going. Strider fighting his way out of the corner. And oh, that is a Karma counter, real weird one, going immediately into the SSBA. And I does not get the animation. Yeah. Whiffs oh. the rush down, and that's gonna be uh, Strider's game there. Yep, and Light Yagami eliminated now. Strider making this look really, really easy and it's just so tough for Team Drugar. They only have two more lives left before it comes down to the team captain. Yeah, Strider is showing that uh, may maybe he should have been a team captain, you know? <laughs> uh, get a fifth team on deck, uh, have Strider collect nine folks and, and really represent, but uh, exactly. you know, doing work here instead as an Eternal. Yeah, 100%. Let's see who's going to be up next. It looks... Like, our next contender here will be Kazuya Mishima once again. And we're going back into the edgelord mirror. Let's see if K can finally turn it around and finally defeat his demon. I mean, it's going to be a tough a tough match for Cake though. Uh, going in against someone with, with so much momentum. Uh, yeah. And then in the mirror match, too. Um, definitely the kind of mirror match where if you're feeling yourself, uh, it goes a long way. Uh, if all your teleports are in the right spot, all your fireballs are in the right spot. But uh, I, was, I, I can't help but chuckle. That was like such a peak bumps moment. So, <laughs> someone does their fucking neutral skip. The other person does their reversal neutral skip. It's so good. 
Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of TK dive kicks coming out uh, mm -hmm. because of course. Of course. Oh, hell for punish, uh, but not quite get a conversion there. Goofy R character. Unfortunately, a uh, little bit of an early DP there from Kazuya Mishima of Smash Bros. fame, but finds a really nice mash here on the plus frames. Does not care about any of those whatsoever, and another backshift comes out from Strider. Strider has been very aggressively using the shift mechanics, but right now just dives all the way into the karma. Huge chunk of damage. Yeah, I like the backshift choice there from Strider, though. A little worried about the, the command grab. Um, just wanting to get out safely. Immediate throw after that blocked overhead. It's anyone's game. Didn't at this point. And that's gonna be it. Yeah, Ryder taking it. Uh, Cake just a bit scared there of a, a throw, rightfully so. 100%. And <laughs> yeah, just dive <laughs> the over shared, each other. The shared brain cell kicking in. Yeah, Cake was the first one to get this pressure going here. Started having taken a little bit more stray hits. Cake almost on full health, but yeah, with the DP, unfortunately, not, not going to be able to punish here. I feel like this has been a pretty consistent um, situation, though. Uh, I mean, Cake managed to, to seal out this round, but uh, in all these rounds, I feel like Cake is getting this early lead, and uh, Strider's just pulling in the, the clutch and like getting one or two really strong hits uh, and just changing yeah, the floor of the match entirely. Definitely. Um, yeah, another another dive coming through. And the dive into DP, knowing that Cake would mash. Man, this is some level of Yomi. Yeah, I mean that's the kind of dive kick where if you're not a Bubs player, you aren't really sure if he's plus or minus there. But uh, yeah, you know, Cake showing uh, his knowledge of the character by by pressing a button on minus, and Strider kind of knowing that he would know that, uh, getting the DP. Once again, just diving after the karma here, both of them having spent the dive. And right now, Strider, you know, spending a lot of his meter here on all of these rushes, uh, it's gonna have to deal with a potential OD coming out from Cake. That meter that meter advantage is gonna be really huge here. Doesn't quite get a full extension of the punish, but does get the, uh, the overdrive set up. Now, this is gonna be pretty oh, tough, but a up. nice little conversion. Yeah, and I mean, it's, it's a... Uh... A pretty comfy spot for Strider. Yeah, landing the DP and sealing out the, mm. the game. But uh, as I was about to say, it was it was anyone's game at that point, though. Um, Cake had successfully grinded Strider to that one touch territory. Um, yeah, and now we have the final bastion of the Eternals on Team Dragoy. We have TK Dog, who was already putting on a pretty good show last time. So let's see if he'll actually be able to close things out against Strider this time because the rest of the Eternals on Team Dragoy have been knocked out. Strider Sweep going strong. has a, a tall uh, order ahead of him. Um, yep. So. I mean, he is not allowed to drop a single game anymore. If he wants to even this up, he has to win six games in a row. Believe in victory. Yeah, so we'll have to see if there's any adaptations from the last game. Um, he did get a very early round. But then, again, Strider with with the clutch. Strider definitely, you know, he really has that clutch factor because he plays, like, in a very unhinged uh, way, but there is, like, method to the madness, you know? Like, he plays in a somewhat risky way, but he still knows what he's doing when he takes those risks, which is what a lot of people aren't prepared for, and they just tend to get caught up by these kind of clutch situations. He's gonna be able to spend a super here as well. This is gonna hurt a lot. It actually kills. Oh my god, I did not think that would kill. Uh, ton of damage coming out the way of Strider, and uh, yeah, like like we mentioned in these clutch situations, he's just been pulling through, you know, um, scoring the, the the hits when they count. Uh, going for the overhead, but gets uh, MDP. Uh, definitely something Strider is showing that uh, he's not afraid to use. Y'all sending TK Dog to his death for What are we supposed to do? He's the last one remaining. Like, they have no choice. <laughs> Both heavy anti-air. Very uh, interesting choice, Beautiful but it worked out very strongly. Right into the super. And, uh, TK Dog, uh, again, taking this to the, the game point. Um, going to have to see if he's able to seal out another round here. 
see if we get the hashtag TK Dog sweep here. Yeah, off to a great uh, start, but loses the corner. Um, excellent teleport to get over the, the charge H fireball. Definitely, so we'll be able to. Oh, Chester defused the trap and just got jumping into it and blocking, but the one right over his head is looking really scary right now. Nice, JU is going to be able to. We have a knockdown situation, but still has to make this comeback with Spear. This is a really tough one. See if he goes for oh, an answer with this is, this is a really scary spot for TK Dog. I mean, you know he's got a lot of pressure on him. Like it's it's a uh -oh. it's a fun exhibition, right? But when you have this much ahead of you, this is not what you want to happen. Uh, that huge lead all gone in one hit. Oh my god. So much damage oh. coming out. No longer has the comedy grab though. And, oh just walks up in Chaz mode. Yeah, and Strider's gonna take that. Uh, just playing out of his mind here in these sets. Like, again, again, the early lead going to the other player, and Strider just clutching it out. Taking and with the, that, yeah, the, the Strider switch just continues, and that's gonna be it's gonna be all down to Dragoy to bring it back here and fight her way through the entirety of the Eternals on Swampin's team and Swampin himself. I mean, she has a tough road ahead of her if she's even going to reach Swampin. Uh, you know. Obviously, Strider playing out of his mind with the the uh, six win streak uh, he's on now, and uh, yeah. a number of Vosaragas as well ahead of him. Uh, after after Strider, the uh, you know when when you have to fight against Vosaraga in this first one format, uh, she's gonna have a, a real hard time uh, dealing with that damage, right? Like one one two H or one. One too many command grabs, and uh, suddenly you're looking at losing one of your lives, and it, it becomes a lot harder. Yeah, definitely. I mean, just the fact that you are you have to go through so many players that all play very differently is going to be very, very challenging for Drago here. I mean, you have to not only deal with you know uh, Strider's uh, Berserker rage here; you also have to deal with um, the two Vasaraga bros who play completely differently. That's going to be. Uh, really tough on you know Zwei and the Riot. Uh, while they play the same character, they definitely have their own styles carved out for themselves. So it's gonna be a real just big feat uh, in terms of adjustments for Drago here. Yeah, and I mean it's 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 Vostar is one of those Vostar and Bills of a both are characters who can absolutely force you to guess too in like high damage situations between yeah. uh, both their command grabs. So. Uh, even for a very talented, skilled player like Dragoy, uh, she is going to have a, a hard time on defense, um, regardless of uh, Definitely. how how well she's playing. That being said, I fully believe in the Dragoy three. I would keep it above. I, I mean, I 100% believe. Still a great player. Uh, can't can't argue that. So, I mean, Dragoy got offline results. You know, some of these other people don't. <laughs> And that's all that matters in my opinion. God damn, Jojo Goy. I, I really hope you have this shit modded, because that is the worst fucking color I have ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> I really hope that's modded. I'm, it's, I'm pretty sure it is, because most people put mods over the Vern color to cause maximum pain to their opponent. But it better be. If it's not, I'm going to be very upset. <laughs> Because I know Dragoy usually has pretty immaculate taste on the colors, because we use the same ones by default. <laughs> He's just trying to cause you pain too. That would be very unsolved, but I don't deserve any of this. Oh, very nice, very uh, nice. Ash close heavy link. Yeah, definitely. Oh, the oh, uh, teleport. Shindyoti. Oh, might, might have been able to get more there from uh, Strider if they uh, have more confidence in the counter hit and went in but But uh, you're only going to take the, the first round here. Um, yeah, but funny command grab, doing its thing. Not the first time we've seen Strider in this position, though, so. Wouldn't count him out yet. Once again, the funny dive doing its thing. Comedy grab coming through. Oh, Jay useless actually making a guest appearance here. Or probably hesitating a little bit in the conversion there, thinking about uh, the micro dash wasn't needed in the end. But that's going to be another nice hard knockdown. That's another thing that Billy are really good going for himself is the fact that his EXDP still gives like a fantastic knockdown. 
Uh, very different from Beelzebub, who gets a pretty mediocre knockdown off of his. Yeah. So, Joy just looking for this last hit, uh, not finding it here, and getting her DP baited. And uh, <laughs> yeah, we're seeing uh, uh, just a little too far away for that close heavy. And the far heavy not quite fast enough to punish the DP there. Uh, this is why I'm just going to say it real quick. If you're playing online, especially, the spacing's a little wonky. Take your medium punish on the belly old DP, please. Yeah, I mean, if you want, if you want the big punish, you can uh, you can interrupt the the falling portion. Um, and even that is a little sus online sometimes. Yeah, that can be a little. It can be, but I mean, if you're yeah. if you, if you really want the big punish, that's what you should be going for. If you yeah. want the safe punish, you can you can take your close medium or your two medium. <laughs> Look at that! You're my least favorite, she says. Look at the hatred from the boy. That <laughs> fucking hurts. Oh my god. Uh, so the real troll thing to do now would be that this is way. Yeah, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if this is actually right. <laughs> however, 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 I know it's not. Because a riot always talks way too much before every match, which is how you can tell this was a real riot. <laughs> That's the only no way joke. we can tell we're not being trolled right now? Okay, fair yeah, enough. Yeah, no joke. I am 100% confident in saying that this is the real riot just based on the amount of talking before the match. <laughs> yeah, I love the, the player read there. Yeah, 100%. And he's got the frame one mold text as well. That's a, that's a boy. <laughs> right, we'll see how uh, Drugoy fares against this. Uh, Vassaraga. And yeah, really nice, you know, a little, little bit of a sick RPS DP, we do love those. And going for the immediate reset into command grab, boomer check as well. Yeah, this is, this is a pretty interesting matchup, I think. Um, yeah. I feel like it's one of those matchups that's sort of annoying on both sides. Uh, yeah, 100%. Being extremely good and uh, also having a bit of a zoning game to cause Vassaraga trouble getting armor. Uh, but once yeah. Voss has armor, uh, it's the, the Belial options are not there. Yeah, one hundred percent. Like this is a matchup where I feel like I feel like Vassaraga and Percival are both matchups for Belial, where it's like both characters have such good tools against each other that everyone's miserable while playing. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a hard matchup for both characters. Yeah. Belial, of course, not known to have very many unfavorable matchups, but uh, this is at least a hard one. Definitely have to rethink oh, nice where you on the, the J useless. Yeah. Uh, opting for the safe jab instead of uh, any kind of armor. Carlite Gaming coming up. Ooh, almost jumped a projectile into a, a kill there, but... Yo, I suppose the champ coming through. Nice now reaction when, on the tackle. Yeah, when Dragoi does it, it's actually not a sanguine moment because it's actually calculated in reaction to something rather than just, you know, yolling your life away. <laughs> Ooh, big far heavy. Uh -oh. This should kill, kill straight into the SSPA. Although, we might see a Vassaraga health moment. Yeah, I think this is going to be a Vassaraga health moment first. I think it's going to be very, very close. Any other yeah, character there better here? Uh, Vassaraga. Yeah, 100%. Got another chance. Not anymore. Unlike a certain someone we know, I am pretty decent at will it kill, so I did not. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike a certain someone. Yeah, Riot getting cooked a little bit, no oil, no butter, uh, but going for the rematch here. Yeah, just staying out there, not wanting to play the uh, player swap mind games. Um. Not our boomer check succeeds. Right, definitely looking just incredibly old right now, just absolutely just <laughs> rotting away. Not succeeding in a single boomer check. Oh, that's a that's a thing. Like that um, light to medium fireball is such a really good tool at uh, kind of keeping Vasaraga out, but if you cancel just a little bit too late, you are in for a world of hurt just like with this anti-air. Yeah, absolutely. Huge damage coming out uh, the way of Ariette and uh, taking around. Um, Putting Dragoy into the precarious spot of uh, not ha being able to drop one round in the next two. I'm sorry, this fucking command grab. <laughs> yeah, the run under EX command grab, very ballsy. Play. That's hard. That's <laughs> absolutely hard. This is why Dragoy is my favorite. 
We got run up MVP. Okay, get the throw. Punish the back shift. Very nice. I wonder if that was an OS or just a reaction. Because of Strigoi, I believe it's the reaction, you know? Zuma reflexes and all that. <laughs> Us old people don't know. Oh my god! The fucking attempt at L command uh, grab. Yeah. Oh my god. Should have been the M command grab, to be fair. M command grab has never failed me in my life. I've used it twice. <laughs> yeah, two for two is pretty good on that one. But uh, yeah. <laughs> they're like, taking this round. Looking good here for sure. Nice EXTP. No real yeah. option for Vasaraga there once you're in the air. It was a very excellent spacing too. It really touched Vasaraga on like one of the last possible frames before he landed. Yeah. Okay. No Asobose champ this time. Now, th now that MDP is incredibly scary once Vasaraga has armor because he can just fire you again and just kill you for it. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little surprised we haven't seen too many uh, armor walk options here. From Arya, uh, generally opting to go for pressure over armoring. Yeah, I'm just getting MD. <laughs> Please, Thank you, right. okay. Now this is also such a joy moment, you know, going for the this wacky ass option, you're risking it all, and actually dying for it in the end here, just to prove a point, putting yeah, herself he on just one life left. Eating a little bit of her own medicine there with the uh, auto combo into uh, slow EX command grab reset. Yeah. Definitely, but that's the Basaraga classic. You know, every single Basaraga player is just like habitually does that. <laughs> whether it's on block, whether it's on hit, they don't care. They just pre they just close their eyes, they buffer auto combo command grab, and let Jesus take the win. Yeah, I feel like another MVP would have really worked. <laughs> Nice stagger, so I'm able to extend here as well. Really nice with the damage and a good knockdown. Drago, you know, really making it interesting. Now, oh, nice back shift. Great back shift there to get the, the punish on the EX command grab uh, on reaction. Yeah, armor coming into play. Uh, walk just about off cooldown. And, uh, yeah, now, this is miserable. Now, the going to, going to have to get a bit close though. Tackle being minus, actually, just a little too close. Uh, Dragoy's gonna take that round. Uh, but, you know, she she is on her last life here, you know? It's, uh, even if Arya goes down here, uh, he, he did work here against the, the captain. Definitely. But yeah, whatever. it's such a Dragoy thing to do, to go for, like, some wacky shit like that while you're, on, while you're the last person standing in your team. There was a, uh, you know, in case you know, you don't know this bit, the, that tidbit of lore, there we go, that was hard to say. Oh, the RPS. Sick RPS. Um, Doesn't work out. I like the back throw yeah. punish. Uh, it's really setting Arya right, for the, the long game. Yeah, definitely. We would get a nice extension here. So, doesn't have to meter for OD, so uh, it's gonna be a little bit tough, to, you know, playing around the upcoming chip. Nice command grab. I blocked the DP. This should... There we go. Right, putting himself actually on, you know, event point here. But yeah, just to finish my anecdote from before real quick, we had a huge Hearts Are Blazing tournament with like a very large prize pool, like several hundred bucks. And uh, Dragoy went into grand finals against Fittison and just picked Luna Lu. You have the confidence, you have the confidence. Yeah. Just get out there, do your best. Oh, big, big combo with the, the frame trap here. Really optimizing for damage, spending the, the H walk in the combo too. 100% is going to be able to get a really nice pressure situation. Next touch is going to kill. And that's going to be next touch. Yeah, big damage coming out. So, scary spot for Dragoy, but she manages to clutch it out. Uh, stay alive, keep her team in the game. Yeah, definitely. But then again, you know, a riot did his work, did his thing. Managed to take a uh, take a life off of Trigoy, which is a really really big resource here. But now, now I think the real end boss is going to enter the arena here. Hey, Hachi Mishima. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh my god. Hachi Mishima. Yeah. We got that all really the characters the today. Box. Yeah. <laughs> we got Kazuya, you know, we got Iori King of Fighters, we got Hey Hachi Mishima. Everyone's here today. <laughs> and Hihachi exchanging bras. I thought I threw you in a volcano. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, it is a bra moment. You know, when you throw your son into a volcano, hashtag bra moment. Yo, and then he comes out and throws you into the volcano. <laughs> That's also a bra moment, Bra. Bra. It does happen to the best of us, actually. <laughs> We've all been there. We've all been to the volcano. <laughs> But yeah, now we have uh, another really cool match coming up here. We have Gatekeeper Tsai, who is just an absolute menace. Like, as I said, this guy is up there for one of my favorite players to watch of all time. So, like, these two are in my top three favorite players to watch. No joke, because both of them always do the hype shit. And Tsai, once, once he gets going, like, if he gets any sort of, like, you know, counter hit, M tackle, or any sort of thing, you are dead. 100%. Like, you are just dead. This man has the optimals you didn't even know existed. Yeah, I mean, especially with a character like Vosraga, who already does damage <laughs> with those sub-optimals. Uh, oh, huge chase on the back shift, though. Uh, gonna put Dragoi in a really strong position. I want Dragoi to, uh, to uh, M command grab. I want it to happen. That would I mean, be the perfect finish to this. If now is not the time to end command grab, when it is, you know? When you're on event exactly. point, like... Your whole team is is sitting there being like, win, win, Dragoy. And, and she's like, yeah, M command yeah, grab. Time to M command grab. Sounds like a good idea in this situation. I could totally see it, so. Yeah. Would be a very Dragoy thing to do. But right now, Heihachi Mishima just kind of dying to the fireball game here, which is just incredibly tough. That's one thing that I feel like is one of the best things about Belio, is when you're a character with limited mobility on low life, approaching this character is absolutely hell. Yeah, like in the, in the early stages of the round, when you have health to, to gamble with, you can work your way in and potentially get a pretty big punch. Oh, nice, Jey uh, Yeah, coming out to take the knockdown off that command yeah. grab. When he gets that in the corner, he gets a side switch and a safe midi off of it. I had to learn that the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> Meaning, we were playing offline, I fucking explode. <laughs> nice, he beat open the joint. Man grab. Fishing for a big hit with that midi close age. Yeah, so deactivated this ball. Oh, not going to be able kill. to quite extend. Yeah. But the chip damage coming out on the stagger pressure is going to add up. Beautiful back shift, but now you have to do all of this. However, this is going to be a drop combo. I, I hate it here. I should not have said anything. Yeah, 2H not coming out. Uh, instead, getting the far H and... Uh, I mean, that's, that's the plot armor, right? Yeah, that is absolutely the plot armor. And uh, no matter how much armor you have on your character, you are still going to die if your health goes to zero. So... Vasaraga with the armor stance not able to go through it, and Dragoi just once again cooking, going for another command grab. Yeah, I mean, she's been punished for a few of these two. Like, we've seen a lot of uh, the Blile command grabs go un un uh, challenged. Uh, interesting trade. Um, Definitely. Bit of a wacky one. But Zwei has already shown the back shift twice on it, so definitely yeah, know that he's looking for it. Sicko D coming out here from. Drugoy is going to be able to get real good pressure going here and all of this chip damage. Look at how much of the Omni for goes for a rush here. But that's so scary to do because your opponent is still going to be an OD. You're still going to be taking all of this chip damage. So this is a tough situation. Let's see. There it is! Yeah, there's <laughs> that the, the L grab. But, <laughs> but uh, yeah, like I mentioned, Zwei has been doing a good job of uh, dealing with this. Uh, yeah. But does get hit by the run up to edge and going to lose the round regardless. Yeah. I'm also a big fan of just the run up to H from Dragoy. Just absolutely going for it. Another command grab. Dragoy is just not, you know, conditioning doesn't matter. Yeah, not willing to be put off by, you know, two, three you reactions. Three <laughs> you know, it's. If you're reacting to the command grab, but you're still losing the round, uh, she has no reason to stop. Yep. Uh, just gonna dump the meter, get the, the most damage here on. Uh, 
really put Zwei into a range where he's afraid of the throw. And uh, closing out with uh, that throw exactly. And yeah, that's gonna be Gatekeeper Toy, also knocked out. Strider is gonna have the last chance before it's down to Team Captain v Team Captain. <laughs> yeah, we, we saw this matchup earlier, and uh, you know, they, they switched off to the Vosteragas pretty quickly. So, yeah. maybe Strider not feeling too confident in it. Um, but, uh, you know, he's, he's gonna bring his best. And, I mean, you only have to beat Dragoy once at this point. Yeah, and that that's the big thing, right? Because you're you're down that one life. Any sort of like wacky interaction, any sort of strange first to one occurrence and anomaly can be devastating here for you. Yeah, or I mean even in a if you get a little too cheeky and go for like the fifth MVP, it might not work out in your favor. <laughs> Once again, you know, immediate Asabosa chan. Just a bit too far for it to be a punish on that fireball though. And uh Great knowledge uh, display from Strider to actually DP it. Uh, great dodge on the far heavy, too. Yeah, Strider definitely knows this character. Uh, is, definitely has a strong belly all himself, so he knows what to do that for. Yeah, another beautiful spot dodge. You know, really got the vision on uh, the far heavies right now coming out from Dragoy. Yep, getting a bit of chip damage on the offensive sequence, too. Okay. Didn't just, uh, escape from the combo. Thick RPS there from the good. Beautiful. Ooh, good tried to roll through there, I think. Uh, yeah, that's it. I love that Belial gets a unique voice line when he uh, uses the super against Beelzebub. <laughs> yeah, Great. I mean, Blau's voice definitely a great reason to play him. 100%. Hard agree. Ooh, nice 2H. Uh, Karma on cooldown, though, so no combo. Oh, that was a really ballsy DP. That's gonna really hurt here. Yeah, big punish, but uh, Asmodeus also cooling down, so both players getting away maybe uh, with a little Ooh, bit more of their health bar than uh, <laughs> you would expect. That's gonna but... be it. Yeah, just go straight into the DP off the Asmodeus. Uh, just showing off a little bit, I think. Um, you know, it's a, it's a nine frame move, so it connects just as easily as most of Blau's other options there, but looks a little funny. Yeah, and with that, we have a bit of a Dragoy sweep going on, you know, just blasting through the entire Eternal Suite from the Team Swampen in no time whatsoever, and it's going to be coming down to Miri on Wi Fi. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you don't need me to tell you that uh, Dragoy is a strong player, so not yeah. a huge surprise to see her able to uh, fight her way through the Eternals and make it to Team Captain Swampin, but uh, pretty difficult, you know, to beat Miri Wi-Fi, um, aka Swampin, on the... Yeah. You know, it's 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 a first to two, but Swampin only needs one. Yeah. Damn. And now we have the... Uh... We, we have the real Miri, the real one, coming through on his Wi-Fi connection. Let's see how he's going to do. So I, I like that the Riot is like hiding out in the corner of the room spectating here. <laughs> look at him. Just lurking. Look at, this little, look at this little creepy little lurker man. <laughs> you calling him out like that? <laughs> yeah, I, I am calling him out like that. This fella ain't going unnoticed. Either line up with the rest of us or leave. <laughs> hey, pointing out that uh, the a Riot Club uh, in Discord has, has turned into the Swampin' Club. Yeah, good. I mean, you know, at, at this point, um, you know, I, I would have <laughs> lost faith in a Riot as well, you know? Yeah, it's Team Swampin' now. Um, yeah. As it was in the beginning. Yeah, a riot is over. Uh, the age, uh, the age of swampin begins. Now, this historically has been um, a matchup that has gone both ways for sure. Like a riot and uh, all right. Yeah. Now, now I'm Schmix. Swampin and Dragoy have, of course, played uh, plenty of times before. You know, both of them being high-level players, they encounter each other quite a bit. And swampin 
definitely you know has shown some really good stuff in this matchup. Of course, uh, Zeta also a very strong character who requires quite unconventional counterplay. You really need to know the matchup against her. Yeah, absolutely. So, it's gonna be an interesting one here, and of course, as he said, it is a first to two, but Swampin is already one up by virtue of having one more life, so this can be really tough. Yeah, and, uh, I mean, you mentioned that you would need to have the counterplay, and uh, of course you're always gonna have it, right? Um, yeah. You know, being one of the strongest players uh, in Europe, and uh, she's had to play Swampin countless times, I'm sure. Uh, yeah. So. But, uh, it's Rhapsody Swampin off the early lead. Had a, a very impressive uh, combo earlier, getting the, the standing ball out hit and doing the 2 2 H. Um, but getting grabbed out of Rhapsody. Yo, and a beautiful spot dodge on the OD. This is going to hurt. Good lord. Yeah, it's going to be able to build the Extremely optimal punish coming out from Dragoy. Getting Using the, the counter hit property to score the 2M into the close heavy. Uh, saving the spinner by using the 2 H. Get, just getting throw. all of her damage. Beautiful air throw as well, love to see that. The Guilty Gear coming through, punishing the Rhapsody. Yeah, I mean, that's one, one of the most guaranteed options you can you can use against Rhapsody uh, on a yep. universal level. Um, that super jump air throw to, to autocorrect. Really trying to sniff out a Fuzzy Mash, uh, but... Swampton not giving it to her here, and... Optimizing the combo. Ooh, the classic. If it dropped, Sick OD being activated, I can hear Swampin screaming fuck OD in his mind right now. Number one OD hater in Europe. Yeah, pretty big damage gonna come out. Uh, and just looking for one more hit yeah. on both sides. Uh oh, and the boomer check comes through, leaving Swampin almost dead. You're gonna get OD, it's just gonna chip out. Uh, not, not a lot of options available to. Uh, Swamp and they're going to have to make some kind of play with Rhapsody or uh, perhaps try to super through the fireball, um, the follow-up. Uh, both risky options, though. And with that, it all comes down to this. We are down to the final life for both teams here. Yeah, this is the, the final round. Winner takes it all. Believe in victory. Battle one. So, of course, if there's any time the Blau M command grab is going to come out, it's going to be now. Definitely. I mean, it has to happen. I mean, who's reacting to that? Are you? Would you be ready in this situation for M Command Grab? This sure, man just walking, walking forward. You know, <laughs> but I certainly you. wouldn't be looking for it. <laughs> nice throw right, from Dugoy, but already lost a lot of life here. The crouch confirmed. This hurts so much. Jump to you to this. try to bait the fuzzy mash. Okay. 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 Oh, gonna be a big yep, that's that. Dragoy, one round away from taking it off a team Dragoy. Sleepy, in the meantime, I have to send you something important. We're gonna need to have this uh, played on stream after. This is very important. I will go to the other here. Uh, realizing that Swampin was in the air. And, uh, Swampin in a very scary situation, uh, potentially Beautiful. dead off the super. And yeah, that's cinematic, almost no cinematic, go. And there we go, the Dragoi sweep, actually in tech, managing to just blast through everyone here. And with that, yeah, I mean, it was looking a little Dragoi. shaky at the beginning, losing that life early to, uh, Ariette, but, uh, managing to, uh, take every other game without dropping, uh, dropping a game. Yeah. So I'm gonna be honest, I'm pretty sure the one against the ride, that show was a 10. That was like intentional. <laughs> Doing five contest. MVPs in a row, <laughs> just throwing that shit. Yeah, good stuff from Dragoy coming <laughs> out. Clinching it in the, the clutch moment for her team. Definitely. But impressive play on both sides for sure. For sure, GG's to everyone involved. Shout out to uh Everyone watching and everyone participating, I hope you enjoyed the event. Now, uh, Sleepy's gonna have to put an important video up on the stream. Hopefully that's gonna work. <laughs> Do I really have you to? Have to <laughs> you have to, 100%. You haven't even seen it yet. It's, it's very important, trust me. I 
feel like she's kind of scared. Like, is it gonna get me banned? No, 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 no. You you have to do it. You have to do it for the for the people. It's nothing that'll get you shot on Twitch. Don't worry about it. There we go. See, team one, real swampin. Yeah. Yeah. Ten different swampins on it. Oh wait, I didn't lock my audio on. Oops, skipped. Yeah. Okay. There we go. That's better. Yeah. Hey guys, I took your advice. I was about to say, I, I don't think we get uh, we get audio here. Really. Oh, nice. Glad to hear that, Donald. Me and Barack have been playing for a while. Oh, it's and we the, like the this Merp video? Yeah, this yep. game is pretty and also fun to play. Although I didn't expect Donald to like Grand Blue since he hates blocking. Shut the fuck up, Barack. You're just mad that I keep cooking you with Leo and Strive. Fucking gorillas. Speaking of which, what characters do you guys play in this game? I bet Joe plays something cringe like Beelzebub. Actually, I play Lance a lot. I like the tools he is given to rush down my opponent, and the mix-up potential he has is very fun to play with. He isn't the best, but it's honest work playing this character. Of course, you play Lance Sleepy Joe. That broken-ass character plays itself. You might as well be asleep the entire time and still win games. Donald, what the fuck are you talking about? Your broken-ass fireball allows you to do stupid high-low mix. You can fuzzy block Your it. stupid turbulent lets you easily take your turn back. If you back. 2H me, I die. And worst of all, your Rekka RPS is the most broken thing about your character. Rekka RPS? Donald, I'm minus on block on all hits in my Rekka. Yeah, but you can cancel into the third part of your Rekka. Don't you play the character, Joe? Why do I know your character better than you? Are you fucking serious? I'm risking my life for 500 damage. If you block it, I take a full combo. I don't want to listen to any more of this broken lance downplay. Holy How shit. about you, Barack? What character do you play? I personally play Zoe. I like her dragon set play a lot and how she has the best fireball in the game. Her buttons are good and her dust loops are pretty cool. Most importantly, I can make people who don't block like you, Donald, to block or they Oh, will great, be... another broken ass character to carry you. Classic Barack. Let me be clear. She is pretty good, but she is nowhere near top five. Bro, she is top three at worst. Oh, no, she is not. Your stupid dragon neutral skips everyone to the corner and your stupid broken fireball can be spammed with a single button. You hearing this, Joe? I mean, light dragon is pretty stupid. Not to mention the fact you can make your stupid dragon pressure a block string to beat DPs and can throw in between it, forcing me to guess for my life. Donald, the H-Dragon throw OS is the easiest OS to do in the game. I'm tired of hearing you complaining. What character do you play, Donald? Oh, me? I play the most honest character in the game. Catalina? No, Percival. Oh, my God. Holy shit. You can't be What's serious. Wrong? Honest, Donald, I'm going to fucking kill you. Oh, that's it. Stop hating just because there was a cag and it was hard. <laughs> yeah, no cag, bad vid. I agree. <laughs> no, no, no. They were absolutely spitting about the Zoe Light Dragon, though. One hundred percent. Zoe Light Dragon, a little broken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a little bit. Yeah, the it most comes honest from, it character. Comes from resource, they say, as they use it like twenty yeah. times in a row. Yeah, yeah. You can only do it fifty times before you run out of it. It's, it's real tough. <laughs> <laughs> the on the most honest character in the game, Percival. Shout out to Philly. Shout out to Nevler as well. Shout out to Five U. You already love to say it. But yeah, thank you everyone for watching. On that note, for sure, we have reached the end of the event, I suppose. Sleepy, do you have anything to show? Or anything else with? Uh, I mean, I guess we can go do a post match or post event interview or something. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that. We can uh, check out. Do we do we want to uh, do we want to bully the loser teams first, or do we want to go and uh, celebrate with the winner team? Um, your choice. Okay, I feel like uh, I, f I feel like talking some shit. Someone in uh, in the swamp team is playing League of Legends. That's how you know it's gone real down the drain. <laughs> that must be simple. Yeah, it's simple. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Damn, this guy really loses on Gravel and then turns on League of Legends just Literally. to feel even worse. That's crazy. <laughs> I mean, sometimes you're gonna feel something, even if it's all right, all right. That's real. That's real. Let's let's hop over there. Let's check out the what the, what they have to say oh, to the people. All right. It is okay. Hold on. Hello. Hello. Safe, Captain Svante. Yeah. No that's shit talking that's behind the back. Welcome to its real swamp and team. <laughs> that's <laughs> really swamp. Real swamp and team. Uh, yes. Yeah. All I'm saying is that, uh, you know, I really admire, you know, Sunko's tenacity because this man just lost the game of Gramble and then decided to fire up League of Legends just to feel Oh, something. definitely. He was oh. playing League of Legends all the time here. <laughs> That's hard. It, it was hard to make him uh, change names uh, because he was delayed already. Yeah, well, <laughs> Too busy playing League to become something. Oh, I know, right? Yeah, so the history of the team was real because usually I was the one that screamed a lot the most, so it became Team Ariad. And then now you have Team Swampin because we all believed in Swampin and taking the win.
We still believe in the Swampin. Yeah, it's gonna happen on uh, Clash of Champions. Definitely. Mm -hmm. It's too late for me now. I'm old. Stage. My back's hurting. My <laughs> nap time was like two hours ago. I can't win against these Zoomers, so... Yeah, yeah, 100. <laughs> 100. It's, you can hear Is it. young Zoomer is Dragoy straight from, from Fortnite and straight from Roblox to... Yeah, yeah. Dragoy just... Coming with the cheap shit? Yeah, Dragoy just paused her game of Fortnite to go and play some Granblue, you know, it's, it happens. <laughs> yeah. The boomers can't compete. I understand. I understand. I mean, they had not one but two zoomers on the team. They had Dragoy and Light Yagami. Like, it's over. What are you yeah, supposed to do? It's over. It's like, they're just as old as how long I have been playing fighting games. So, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, not that's, that's not a joke. That's not a joke. Yeah, that's not a joke. What was it? Earlier, earlier this month, I think, 13th of February, I hit 18 years since I entered my first big tournament. Jesus Christ. Damn. Damn. Yeah, I'm, I'm in a similar boat where some of the people who join an NPC, it's like younger than I've been playing fighting games. I'm like, oh no. Exactly. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> is, 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 is this how it feels? Is this how it feels? <laughs> Relish in that fact because you won't get that chance again, probably. <laughs> Maybe. Damn. Who knows what's going to happen. But yeah, Team Swampin. Big ups. Good stuff. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, I close wants time. to talk shit, but <laughs> I had the chance of killing Dragoy because we, I had, I from Eternals, I had the best connection with Dragoy. Oh yeah, fair. it was real. <laughs> is, is that what the wheel I mean... said? It said, it said everyone lagged. No, no, no. We have to go through that on the lag. I got washed. That's the truth. So yeah, <laughs> that, that's okay. It's why, it's why, it's why, it's why. You're you're gonna just ignore that you had a five frame delay with him. Hey, I complained, but I got washed. I could have won, but I got true. Won. I was washed as well. It's like that. <laughs> it's like that, man. There's no connection. You lost, you lost. Can someone yeah, when, when the wheel is spinning, always... the wheel is spinning. Can someone explain me how the fuck we lost with two Vasiragas in our team? Vasiraga is not as broken as they everybody say. I Would feel as though it boils down to a skill issue, personally. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, I, I so wouldn't too. put it we like that. We clearly know, needed so. the third Goliath. Projectiles. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. Yeah, they should have put me in a thing as well, so we had an extra mile. <laughs> That's true. That's true. We should have just thing. booted a riot out. He didn't do anything. What the <laughs> fuck do you mean? <laughs> yeah, that was us. <laughs> oh. Okay, I think this was enough uh, riot bullying. Let's go. Yeah, to yeah, let's yeah. hop over. Their what team the fuck do you mean? You just came into yeah. bullying me here? Yeah, that's not on us. I'm not already leaving. <laughs> Right, let's uh, let's talk over to another way, Sleepy. Yeah. Actually, Sleepy, you could actually. Uh, it's a good idea. Swamp and said that there were 5v5 events. Maybe a smaller scale team battles would be pretty fun on the regular. Oh, yeah. I might think about it. Because it's f actually very exciting to scream at others. <laughs> Not good. Yeah. I, I know that that's why you're a commentator. <laughs> <laughs> I think one of the big pulls about this event is probably that it feels kind of similar to offline because you're all talking yeah. together. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Can be on stream says the third Vasraga would work. <laughs> definitely. Hey, Strider. Once you're because Vasraga, you know. Never in my fucking life. <laughs> you, got, you got the Vasraga. You can't lie to me. You cannot lie to me. <laughs> First, you're Russian, you so you play with powers, so you know Vasaraga, and I've seen you play. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, no. Vasaraga. You have to play some mirrors. Right, we're gonna, we're gonna let these guys cook. We're gonna hop over to the other side. Talk to the winners. Thank you. Bye, Bye everyone. <laughs> wow. Hello. All right. Good oh, evening. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. What a surprise. What a surprise. <laughs> I don't know. Wasn't expecting this. Oh, re real gamers, teams are going with the 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 big W. <laughs> Yeah. Oh wow! Yeah. Let it be known. Huge, huge Hello, we're carried. <laughs> Let it be known that I said when Dragoy came in that I believe in the Dragoy sweep. We have it on record. Let it be known. <laughs> Thank you, Misty. I'll, I'll check the vaults to see if that's true or not. It is true. It is true. You I... can go in. We can go in. The <laughs> second, the first game that Dragoy comes in, I said I believe in the hashtag Dragoy sweep. I kind of got a bit silly at the middle there, but. Yeah, you, you got a little. The, you know, the, the five mm -hmm. MVPs in a row, a little, a little silly, but <laughs> yeah, but they silly. were lost in the sauce a tiny uh, bit. But sometimes, no, no. Yeah. Oh, that happens to me. Yeah. Yeah, we all okay. make mistakes in the heart of passion, Jimbo. Exactly. 
<laughs> so sometimes you need to just kill something, you know. Sometimes you Even just if gotta it's go. Lost or to reach. Yeah. <laughs> and there have already been four blocked uh, MDPs that haven't been led to anything. But sometimes, you know, maybe the fifth one works. Yeah, yeah. It's chip damage. It adds up. It is chip damage. That's true. But that's, yeah. that's good. Wait, it's so. Uh, uh, it was everything calculated. Yeah, yeah, also, I, I hate the riots. I wanted to. Uh, I hate yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> That's actually fucking true. I also hate that. <laughs> All right, this big boy here as well. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. All right, Ariat's getting bullied in both chats right now, actually. <laughs> That's the most important uh, part. We don't care about the event, we just care about having an, a public outlet to bully a riot. Thank you very much for the interview. I am honored to be interviewed by the NA Grand Blue Tie Games versus Asia Cup winner. Crazy. Yeah. Sadly, there is no um, Mike Holtz here, but it's like close, right? Yeah. I, I hope one day to be as hype as Mike Ross. <laughs> Dude, I can only dream. I, I'm glad they took the M, on the M out like after the B. I couldn't pronounce it otherwise, honestly. Yeah. On the end, dude, <laughs> I remember I asked you how to pronounce it, but I don't remember how. So I'll ask you later. Don't worry. It's okay. You can pronounce it however you want. That's it's that's more. the that's the real ruling. Is uh <laughs> at this point everyone mispronounces it. So I just I just let people like like whatever creative pronunciation you can come up with is correct. Sombu. 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 As long as it starts with like a za sound, like I, I know you're talking to me, <laughs> like, you're good. Like, if, you, if you if you like really mess it up, maybe I don't know who you're talking to, but <laughs> most people get the zom part, like that's yeah, that works. If you get that syllable, it's all good. I don't like the zombie though. When people say zombie, that just doesn't sound good. I I don't like that one though. I don't know how you feel about it. But I really like it. It's fine. <laughs> They're all fine. <laughs> I see, I see. This is why I always go by a simple name like Mr. Offline Results. <laughs> yeah, I see. Everyone can, everyone can manage that. M Mr. Offline? Is that? Yeah. Offline? That's yeah. not Offline. Off Offline Results. <laughs> Offline. <laughs> Offline. <laughs> Offline. Yeah. I mean, I am off the line right now, as we speak. Do you regret adding the senpai to those senpai? Oh. Or... Uh... Not really. Like, only weird people have senpai in there. That's actually true, but I am a little <laughs> bit weird. So, yeah, it, does, it does add up, it does add up. <laughs> Just to be a little weird. Yeah. Like, you gotta be a little weird to play Grab the Fantasy yeah. versus for the personal yeah, yeah. computer, you know? Yeah, we're, yeah we're I, a little I, I funky. Agree. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta, you, gotta be, you gotta be a little strange. I gotta be a little a yeah. little bit of a rapscallion, a little bit of an, of an eye razor, you know? A little quirky. A little quirky, you know? We're all, we're all a little quirky. Quite devious. Just like <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I mean, it was uh, some great Grambler. Uh, oh, congratulations, everyone. Uh, no, no, no. I, I'm sure you're all planning a huge celebration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What, half the people have left already. I don't think they yeah, like yeah, I think they're at the party already. Like the, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's, they're they're yeah. getting Mike Ross right now as we speak. <laughs> they're ringing him up. <laughs> they're flying him out. <laughs> they're at Mike Ross's door, fucking shaking yeah. him awake. <laughs> oh, but thank you very much for having me. My team was wonderful and... Uh, it's very fun. I do have a, a question though. Yeah. <laughs> I do have a question though. Was okay. I cute? Oh, go ahead. Was I cute? <laughs> you were very cute, yeah. Especially, when, yeah. You, especially when you got off that garbage color that you used normally. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I thought you were particularly cute when you when you hyper focused on the shotgun and then died. <laughs> oh, I did try. I did try. <laughs> then after that, happened. I was just scared. <laughs> Ne yeah, <laughs> thank you all for playing. Next time I'll charge a shotgun. Next time. Yeah, thanks for hosting Sleepy and thanks Next for having me. Yeah, Sleepy, yeah. thank you very much. Yeah. Your work is very appreciated. No problem. We'll probably do this again at some point. Oh, oh maybe with Hobike it would be possible to do America move? No, maybe not. I don't know. We'll uh, see. Be, I, think, I think it's uh, something that could be done for fun. For sure. Uh, yeah. 
you serious, man? I mean, we, we already did the delay based uh, EU versus NA once. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll just uh, do it when we uh, we'll we'll just do it when we get the uh, when we get rising. With... You definitely do it on rollback. <laughs> with rollback and no, plus the ward plus you, you, uh, just, just do it now, but on parsec, parsec works perfectly. All right, where are we gonna put the parsecs? Are we in the ocean? Yeah, yeah, just yeah. put it in the middle. <laughs> no, no, New York has... parsec server. It's fine. No, 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 no. <laughs> put it right. <laughs> just... No, you can't even agree. Like you, you'd be like, oh, like, like, oh, do you want to put it in France? You want to put it in Germany? Hell no! Like, <laughs> hell no! Uh, just, <laughs> just put it, put it in Spain. It's close to the just put it in New York. Just put it in New York. We can all agree. <laughs> Either New York or Portugal, since it's closer to NA. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Curiously, oh, I had like three. I had like two to three frames with Diaphone when we played. Yeah, I had like three too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fucked up. Diaphone with the God Internet. Yeah. 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 Bro is hacked into the main friend. Yeah, I miss him. Then. Thing to say before we close the stream. Uh, uh, good night, everyone. Something like that. Uh, like, uh, good night, kisses, and all that. Yeah, like, you know, good night and uh, keep playing and. Uh, and. Uh, and. Uh, you know. Uh, never give up. Never surrender. <laughs> never surrender. Never surrender. <laughs> that was beautiful. Yeah, beautiful words to end on. Bye bye, gamers. Thank you. Yes, thank you, guys. Perfect moment to end. It. <laughs> bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.